Have you ever come across a video so scary that you don't want to inflict that feeling of impending doom on others? This video was posted by Hirsch Duchy to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor asks for some help in discerning what's happening here. Dutchie is in an abandoned house that's littered with junk. While wandering around the space, he arrives at the kitchen. You can see the cupboard door is slightly ajar. A moment later, it opens wider on its own. The Redditor said he didn't notice this strange event at the moment. It was only when he was showing his mother the video later that he realized something unseen might have been in the house with him. Well, Dutchie asked for help explaining this, and plenty of Redditors rose to the occasion. Many in the comments of this clip suggest that the wind and the open door were involved, noting that you can hear the wind and see the plants moving outside. Nails or anything like that. The Redditor agrees that it's probably the wind, but wanted to see what others thought. Whether or not there may be a paranormal theory, he also notes that the wind wasn't blowing in the direction to open the door. Redditor Kaliana78, however, appears to disagree with the others writing. If it were the wind that blew that open, why wasn't all the junk blowing around as well? What do you think? Is this just another episode of wind and air streams causing movements in inanimate objects? Or is there something seriously dark going on in this house? Two friends are hanging out when one challenges the other to make a real ghost video in the closet of his haunted house to see what paranormal activity takes place. His friend only half believes him, so imagine his surprise at the scary moments caught on camera next. I swear it's in it. Just go away. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? What is it? What is it? It's gone. His skepticism melts when a pale face regards them from the darkness. As they ask each other what it is, the figure moves away from them and they dare not follow. This creepy video could simply be someone shining a flashlight in their face to create the illusion of a ghost, except for one thing. There are two dark holes where the eyes should be. This looks like it could be a black-eyed ghost sighting as they are known to follow people home after exploring the forest. But the most likely scenario is that this is just a mannequin and nothing more. Whatever it is, it's not a person. And there's just enough room for speculation to make you wonder if the scary stuff in this video is real. Only they know if this was a real ghost video or not. 20 years ago, this hospital was abandoned. Now, urban explorer Luan Mendez is ready to investigate the hospital to see if it's haunted. He's exploring the hospital in search of the scariest place he can think of, the morgue, because that's where a ghost is most likely to be caught on camera. The only problem is he and his team aren't exactly sure where it is, and soon they get twisted up in a maze of hospital hallways. The ghost of a nurse is said to roam these halls. They don't see anyone, and yet every room they pass leaves them feeling more watched, more creeped out. Hmm. A figure sprints past without making a sound, and I think this is a real ghost sighting because the ghost hunters are walking, and you can hear their footsteps loud and clear. Meanwhile, the apparition is running full speed, but there are no footsteps, which shouldn't be possible. Listen again. Hmm. They investigate the floor and find no footprints. Someone, perhaps a ghost, was just running down the hall. But the dust is undisturbed, further evidence that this was a real ghost in the hospital hallway. They're scared, but they keep exploring the abandoned building, eventually coming across some more weird things in the nursery area. Creepy stuff like this picture of a child on a rope that scares them. Creepy stuff like a rotten offering of some sort, stuck against the wall in what appears to be a bizarre ritual. On the ground, they see two small red dots and begin following the splatter pattern. And what they found at the end still haunts the ghost hunters to this day. <laughs> Oh, 
something swings upside down, and if you look directly behind them, you'll see it's in the same creepy room that they just showed on camera. So where could this thing have been hiding? And when they gather enough courage to check a second time, nothing is there. Well, driverless cars are a thing, I don't think this is one of them. Published in April of 2013, a mysterious vehicle is going berserk as it pulls up to the toll booth. The car's lights are flashing on and off as it drives forward. The toll booth operator holds out his hand, apparently not paying attention at first, but then he sees the most astonishing thing. There's no one in the driver's seat. The toll booth man stands up from his chair, leaning out toward the car in shock. You can see the steering wheel spin round, moving back and forth. There's no one in the seat, nor in the passenger seat, nor the back seat. The toll booth man exits his booth and stands in front of the vehicle looking in. That's when this creepy being climbs up the rear window. Dark hair, pale as a ghost, definite the ring girl vibes. The mysterious figure causes the toll booth man to fall on the ground in fear. He quickly rushes off screen, and that thing on the rear window keeps on climbing toward the roof before sinking again out of sight. Is this video real? If so, I don't think things ended well for this toll booth worker. If you hear something at 3 a.m., pretend like you didn't. Otherwise, this could be the end result. I hear something. It looks like an animal outside at first, but it clearly isn't. I think it might be a skinwalker feasting on this person's pets. Is that what skinwalkers do? Better hold your pet close tonight. A TikTok user named Look Dijans for You is obsessed with summoning spirits, and this time it really might have worked. He says something in the mirror, and then this wide eyed fiend appears right behind him, only to vanish when he turns around. <laughs> At first, it looks like it might have been somebody standing on the other side of the mirror, but when the light hits them, you can tell they are both in the same room. Later, he is looking down a hall through a hole in the door where the knob once was. I want you to remember the unique shape of this water pattern because it is going to be important later. Okay, so he is looking down the hall. <laughs> Bismillah. A second look through the hole reveals nothing, and when he turns around, he is shocked to find he is in the exact same hall he was just looking down. Water pattern and all, it's like he teleported. Jade of YouTube channel Ghost Club Paranormal spends a night alone in the most haunted room of the Glen Tavern Inn. Cue all the spooky stuff. As Jade is describing the spirits here, the lights flicker off. He's the one that's not supposed to be a very nice. I don't know why the light just went out. She captures some energies via the K2 meter. She starts to hear noises. When I get spikes on the K2 meter. Now I'm hearing noises just all around the room. And one even seems to happen in response to her request. Knock. The spirit appears to turn the flashlight on. Alright guys, same thing. I have turned this flashlight off and if any spirits want to turn it on by the time I get back, you can be my guest. I'm going to leave now. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Again, it was like... Then a cowboy responds to Jade's questions. Are there any cowboys with me in this room right now? Can you make a knocking noise? If there's any ca... And when she continues her communication with the spirit, it says hello. Hello. 
This is so weird. Like, I feel like somebody keeps pulling on my tassel. I've seen enough here to be certain that Glen Tavern Inn is haunted, and I think Jade has a finger on the pulse of the spirit. A YouTuber named Breaking the Shell goes exploring a 150-year-old home in search of the paranormal, and the paranormal is what they find. Shadow figures and footsteps have been reported by previous ghost hunters. But that's nothing compared to the paranormal evidence you're about to see. They're not even exploring inside of the house yet and the investigation is already getting spooky. At 40 seconds, a mysterious, possibly paranormal white light appears in the window of the room above them. And before you say that their light is hitting a mirror or something, explain how at 45 seconds the light seemingly gets even brighter when the ghost hunter faces the opposite way. One of the things they notice is a bricked up fireplace where someone seems to have busted out, along with a door that has a padlock. There's another doorway with firewood in front of it that's been boarded up and painted over. I feel like somebody could have been kept in here against their will. That's weird. After exploring the house some more, they think they hear footsteps like other ghost hunters have reported, and I think it might be happening over them in the room where the mysterious light was. They're like, it walked past that window like some people. They go outside, and at 23 minutes and 7 seconds, their camera gets blurry, like it's trying to focus on a ghost nearby. Then we see the weird, mystifying light again, in front of them this time, and there's nothing but darkness, so I don't think it's light from their camera caught on tape. No joke, I saw a lot right there. But here's the creepiest paranormal evidence of all. At 13 minutes while exploring the top floor, they see this blue blanket. It looks flat at first, but the more you look at it, the more it looks like the ghostly form of a child seems to appear under the blanket. Holy cow, this is terrifying. Now this has to be paranormal. Enrique Ortiz published this video in February of 2015, writing, I filmed this a few years ago when I was walking across Central Park one evening just west of the Bethesda Fountain on the 72nd Street Crossway. I heard really loud screeching coming from the sewer and I decided to film it with my phone. In the background, you can hear joggers running past Ortiz, and although he doesn't know what the sound could be, he notes that it was quite vicious and loud. The high-pitched screeching coming from the grate sounds a bit like a pig squealing. It certainly doesn't sound like alligators, as suggested in the video title. The screeching is prolonged and agonizing, leading many in the comments section to agree that it's definitely a sewer fight of some kind. Some thought it might be a fox, raccoon, or possum. My guess would be a rat duel. What do you think? Crazy EVPs and spiritual mists run amok in the haunted Skinner's Tavern. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Paranormal Purgatory writes, We captured what looks like a spirit trying to manifest in the doorway. They also captured some insane dialogues with the beyond as they attempted to communicate with the spirits inside this haunted place. See for a little bit. See it for a little bit. See if we can hear anything. After an EVP translates a spirit whispering, All pretty I am. A partial manifestation is caught in this doorway. Right in the middle of the entry, you can see a trace of a ghostly mist as the camera pans round. The Redditor doesn't appear to notice it in the moment, as he calmly asks the house at large if he can get a drink. Don't blame him, he's probably gonna need a drink again when he plays this back. Okay, so this is the size of an ordinary garfish, and this is the size of one when you live in Texas. Was that huge? Okay, okay. Nope. You're good, you're good. 
This gigantic specimen is estimated to be about 60 years old and weighs about 200 pounds. They eat just about everything in sight, and their only predator besides humans are alligators. Nothing else is big enough to stand against them. They are basically living dinosaurs and definitely one of the most mysterious species to be found lurking in Texan waters, so tread carefully. This huge wall of security monitors shows that everything in this building is silent and still except for a single sign going haywire. I've seen signs twisting around from the air conditioning before, but this looks a little different. The back and forth swaying seems very deliberate, almost as if an invisible force is hanging off of it. I don't have much more information about this video, aside from it taking place somewhere in Singapore. Let me know what you think of it. This poltergeist is throwing a tantrum. Published by Derek Hull in February of 2021, the angsty geist is first seen slamming a door in the cameraman's face. Exhilarated that he caught it on camera, the man races to the door and opens it, finding no one inside. He runs back through, asking the poltergeist to repeat the action, but the door remains open. One of the crew enters the room while the others stand outside, watching the door. They approach and the door closes again. It isn't clear if the other crew member was inside the room. As there was a cut in the video, it doesn't seem like he exited. They apologize for angering the poltergeist and say they will leave. Alright, I'm gonna open the door and that's it. We're gonna leave, okay? Sorry for f***ing off. But that's not without one last slam. This time coming from some shutters off to the right, I assume. One time. Is this spirit moving around them, or is it all encompassing? <laughs> Two friends are walking around the haunted Matlock Cemetery in Iowa when they see something possibly watching them from afar a white head that's barely visible behind a tree. This is scary. You see that? Oh my god! What? Did you see oh. that? What? They aren't sure what it is until they go up to the tree. It was behind and get a closer look, or should I say it gets a closer look at them. Oh my god, what the was that? Oh! Oh! Here it is again, a man wearing baggy clothes and a possibly white mask, though his face is too blurry to tell. I don't know if this was a maintenance worker, one of their friends, or a genuine creeper looking to do them harm, but I do think they made the right choice getting out of there, and I hope for their sakes they never went back. Would you be able to put up with this unfathomable poltergeist activity? YouTuber Sylvia C has long battled an angry energy wreaking havoc on her home. She experienced yet another encounter in May of this year. It's happening again, guys. Lit. What unresolved issues does this poltergeist have? He seems to often take it out on the kitchen. Commenter Enki2 has some advice for Sylvia in the comments. He writes, Ghosts are like trolls. Don't feed them attention, respect, or most of all, fear. But I gotta say, with paranormal happenings like this happening around your home, it'd be pretty hard to ignore it. If something knocks on a door in an abandoned home, don't answer. Published by Indra Saputra Official in March of 2022, this ghost hunter is faced with something that wants in. When he opens the door, Indra finds an empty bathroom. After turning back to the rest of the room, 
he sees a shadow peeking up over a wall. It slowly pulls down out of sight. When Indra rounds the corner to look, nothing is there. Did the figure manage to creep out soundlessly? Or is Indra facing off with nothing but a shadow? Bedjul TV claims to have recently made contact with the supernatural world during a live stream taken at a haunted graveyard in Indonesia. He lights some incense and then weird things are caught on camera with absolutely no wind blowing. Forty seconds later is when it happens. Paranormal contact. Hello. Hello. I would say this has to be special effects, except for one thing. These scary moments were caught on live stream with a live chat that was amazed at the ghost sighting. Even with that said, I still think this video could have been pre-recorded because he never seems to directly address what the chat has to say, nor does he call anybody by their screen name, all of which indicates this video might not be live. The ghost doesn't say anything to him. At 15 minutes and 58 seconds, it reaches out to him shortly before disappearing back to wherever it came from. This could simply be a digital image of somebody superimposed over the video, but I'll wait to see what you have to say before making my final decision on this one. Things can get out of hand. This video reveals when people and things have gone just a little too far. Sometimes those darndest things send chills down our spine. This video will make you question the afterlife. Tariq Elite writes, A woman goes to her mother's grave to visit. Her little girl seems to be waving and talking to someone and even kisses them. What are you waving at, Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye. Tariq goes on to ask if it's true that they can see into spiritual realms. The video shows a sweet girl, likely not older than two, standing near a headstone waving. She appears to be looking up into the nothingness but seeing something. She greets the invisible specter, standing on the top of the grave to get a better look. She even reaches with one pointed finger before dismounting from the grave. Some in the comments suggest that the young girl's frequency hasn't been fully compromised yet by the earth, while others say that our ancestors are always with us. Do you agree? Are young ones able to visually access a frequency that we're not capable of reaching? This video seems to be proof that there really is something just beyond the veil. A man is testing out his GoPro when a mysterious sea creature is caught on camera in deep waters. Look closely behind him. You'll just barely see a small black object move in the waves before mysteriously disappearing back to wherever it came. He suspects this bizarre sighting could have been anything from a great white to an orca whale, or something smaller like an otter or a seal is not out of the question. That's a big difference and not something you'd want left up to your imagination while floating on a kayak by yourself with nothing around for miles. The creature does not resurface and ultimately leaves them alone. He's not sure which mysterious creature is responsible for this suspenseful moment caught on GoPro, but there's always a chance of an even closer encounter next time. This deer appears to have a massive growth that has taken over the entire right side of its head. I was thinking that this could possibly even be exposed brain, but I doubt it would still be alive if that were truly the case. Either way, the deer appears to be very much alert and not in a vegetative state, which suggests that this is just a growth. But then again, maybe it's going through the early stages of CWD and still has some brain function. The quiet wild animal seems to be completely unafraid of the camera and makes no attempts to get away. Based on its lack of a reaction, I would say this specimen is halfway through becoming an actual zombie deer. Jose Cruz is stuck at home in Arlington, Virginia, so he decides to take a random video of the rain.
Only when looking at the video much later does he notice the ghost of a girl twisting in the wind for a brief moment before fading away. From what I understand, falling rain is one of the most difficult things to fake in terms of video editing, which makes me think the ghost sighting is real. The more times you look at it, the more it looks like she really does stop, consider him for a moment, and then goes on her way. I mean, wind or not, rain shouldn't move like that unless something is physically under it. A YouTuber named Ponji Petualan is searching for frogs with his friends late at night along with anything else they can find. The team has their head down to look for prey, but at 21 minutes and 4 seconds, Ponji looks up for the briefest of moments and catches this bipedal creature as it sprints away from the light. It happens so fast that they don't even appear to see it at first. It appears to be a pale white and instinctively flees from the light, which makes sense for a nocturnal creature to do. It does not make a sound as it moves, despite being the size of a human and a very close distance away. <laughs> Salmon is supposed to be good for you, but this piece has something extra inside of it that definitely isn't. Maybe they'll give me a discount on that one. Huh. As he captures the creature on video, 25 seconds is when the worm finds a soft spot and plunges back inside. This video is especially terrifying when you realize this is not abnormal nor is it the store's fault. Most salmon is infected with these worms, and improper cooking could introduce a live one into your system. So remember, worms wiggling in your food is a common occurrence that is occasionally caught on tape, and don't forget that you're still eating crunchy ones even when properly cooked. I think they should put a label about it on the packaging because most people probably don't know about this slimy little problem and could have eaten them already, including me and you. Ghost hunting expert Stephen Lancaster leads a paranormal investigation in an attic that's believed to be haunted. Voices and footsteps are said to be heard ever since a previous owner lost their life up here. After setting up paranormal surveillance equipment, Stephen waits for a while and hears scary noises. <laughs> I definitely heard something in the corner just a few feet away from Steven. Here's what he has to say. I think he's telling the truth, but let me know if you detect any giveaways in his voice. Somebody was walking around. Somebody whispered something to me. This tape was found under a bridge somewhere in Russia. In it, a person is riding their bicycle while talking happily into the camera. If you speak Russian, please let me know what is being said here. Всем привет. Suddenly, their monologue is cut short by a shrill noise off camera. It sounds like he is asking who is there, when suddenly the answer comes rushing up to him. His scream becomes scrambled and the camera fades away. If this video is real, then I can't help but notice how the mutant shriek sounds almost human. I wonder how close this video was to the infamous site of the Chernobyl meltdown. Nicholas White is in an elevator on his work break when it suddenly stops after the power goes out for a split second and comes back on. It's an unremarkable beginning to a long survival situation that stretches on for almost two days with everything caught on camera. He does what anyone would do and repeatedly tries all of the buttons, including the alarm, and then he tries to open the door a couple times, all to no avail. No one in the security room is listening. After an hour, he stands on the rails and looks for a ceiling hatch, but the exit is locked. After more than 10 hours, you can see a worker perform some kind of maintenance on all of the other elevators, apparently skipping right past Nicholas without noticing he's even there. By 19 hours, Nicholas seems to have resigned to his fate, 
He tries to keep from going crazy by reading the fine print to what he says later on was a sports game ticket. After 40 hours, he has degraded into a vegetative state and mostly lies on the floor or leans against the wall. One hour after that, he is finally able to talk to somebody over the intercom and they give him a special code to press that gets the elevator working again. His friends and a security guard are waiting for him on the other side. Understandably, after spending almost the full weekend in this cube. All he wanted was a cold drink and probably a new job in a different building. What would you think if you saw a wheelchair moving down an eerie, empty, poorly lit hospital corridor at night? You might think you've walked straight into a horror movie. That's probably what security for this hospital thought when they reviewed the security footage after some ghost was up to no good. In the footage, a wheelchair is parked near a wall at the end of the hallway, but slowly it starts to turn and begins to roll backwards around the corner. No one is pushing it and no one is sitting in it. So who or what is maneuvering the chair? And where are they going? Only the spirits lingering in this hospital know. An abundance of paranormal activity means Stephanie Elmager is never truly home alone. I'm gonna walk around my house. The reason I'm filming this right now is I'm trying to catch some paranormal activity on my recorder. As you can see, there is nobody in my house. Do you hear that? My TV just came on. A kid's program politely tells her to get out of the house and then the lights turn on by themselves. Oh, and the alarm just went off. Do you see this? There is nobody in this house. The TV just came on. Holy. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything. Anything. You gotta be kidding me. Does everybody see that? She crosses the kitchen to show us where the light switches are and... There is nobody in this house. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody at all, I'm gonna turn it off. It was even up. Look, if anybody... A bedroom is haunted by a pale figure with a long, crooked neck who is either standing behind or on top of her bed. When she does a double take, she finds it much closer now, peering at her from around the door. Oh my god. Okay, I don't get scared very often. Oh, that just freaks me out. Okay. Let's walk back in there. I agree with her completely. I saw it too, so either this is a real ghost sighting, which I'm almost sure it is, or we are both losing our minds. I am not losing my mind. There is nobody in here. Look, there is nobody anywhere. Going to medical school presents many challenges, high tuition, debt, and the occasional wild animal encounter. If you were coming up the steps and saw a Black Panther animal barreling at you, you would almost certainly run. Big mistake. It's already in motion and your panic would trigger its instincts. You're not getting far. The panther starts to go into someone's room, but something makes it think twice about going in. It probably doesn't like being cornered with one exit and chooses not to go further inside. The college in Karnataka, India went into lockdown as a result of this scary CCTV video. Yeah, I guess that would do it. I should point out that this isn't all that uncommon in schools. Across India and I found some other creepy videos too. Here's a leopard at a college in Nainital. Thankfully, the only prey he finds is a car passing by. But imagine a college student looking at their feet walking along this fence. They'd never see it coming. I just hope everybody's alright. A woman with an octopus on her face tries to laugh it off despite her extreme fear. What does she say here? <laughs> 
It's mercifully hanging out of her mouth for now, but if it moves in any further, then it would be reaching down her throat. She is one wrong move away from having her oxygen cut off. Its tentacles squirm around her eyes and across her tongue as she screams and pulls the creature free with one last burst of strength. The octopus itself looks like it came straight out of the ocean. I can only imagine how disgusting the lingering aftertaste must have been. YouTuber Eder Hernandez and his crew are about to enter the Devil's Cave, and what they will witness here may change them forever. The guys seem rattled as they approach the cave, and you'll see they have reason to be. Let's take another look at what they saw. It looks like a faceless being. As they rush away through the jungle, they catch another creature in their purview. Did you see that? Here it is again, slowly this time. There is definitely a figure standing there, but is it the devil? A third capture seems to blur the lines even more. What are these figures? I'm not sure if they're demons, skinwalkers, or the devil himself, but whatever they are, I know I don't want to get a closer look. Aquatic researchers are stunned to see this massive shark pass by their cameras at a depth of 3,300 feet below sea level. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Got it. Man. Get, get, can you get him on the oh, whoa. Oh, look how thick he is. He's huge. As the giant shark circumnavigates their equipment, the researchers try to estimate its measurements based on the space between the two laser dots. Will this size fall short of an adult megalodon? Some people have pointed out that this could be a juvenile. Since all scientists have to go off of is their teeth and backbone fossils, we may never know for sure. A YouTuber named Talk to Trending records a ghost video in Tamil, India at a haunted fort. An extremely powerful spirit is said to reside here, and the ghost hunters can't resist the chance to explore the abandoned building for paranormal traces. <laughs> As they talk more about the haunted place, a ghostly apparition materializes behind them. It looks to be in the shape of a person wearing robes from head to toe, and when it moves out of sight, the ghost hunter looks over his shoulder where it would have been. I think this could be his paranormal sixth sense kicking in to keep him safe, but this could also simply be the way his flashlight plays against the stone wall behind him. Although it's weird that it takes such a human-like shape, tell me what explanation you think is true. A team of cryptid hunters make a wild discovery deep in the woods of North Carolina. In the Uari National Forest is where they find a mysterious imprint that extends 13 inches long. They think this is not a footprint but a handprint with oversized knuckles at one end and a wide base of the palm at the other. Hey guys, I'll show you what we just found. We got us a 13 inch tracker just a little over. We sure did. We got toe prints. We got the break in the middle. Right here. Yes, sir. I kind of see what they mean, but I'm not sure if this is from a cryptid or not. It kind of looks like where a rock could have been or something. I'm also wondering why there aren't any prints to accompany this alleged hand print, but at the same time, I don't have a solid explanation for what caused this, and was wondering what you think about this extra creepy sighting in the woods. Well guys, so far we've found what looks like to be either handprint or knuckle prints again. And we just come across this track right here. So that's awesome. That is awesome. 
A YouTuber named Jack Torrance says that he found this old VHS tape at a yard sale. Most of it is just a man walking through the forest while holding a stick for protection. There's very little sound except for footsteps and his labored breathing as he hikes onward. Later, night falls and the man is still going forward at a decent pace, maybe even faster than before. He appears disoriented and swings the camera wildly as he travels, almost like he has lost his way and is now panicking. Then something makes him abruptly stop. It's hard to tell for sure, but it looks like some kind of green sack on the ground. Then it's pulled by a yellow string across the forest floor. When the cameraman looks up, he finds only darkness. It seems like whoever filmed this was alone the entire video, so I have no idea what was on the ground or, more importantly, who was pulling it away. Jackal365 goes exploring his old creepy attic the day after hearing scary noises all night. One minute and 55 seconds is when something is caught moving on camera. He reaches the back of the attic and strains his eyes in the darkness to see it. <laughs> A face drops down in front of the camera. Apparently, the creature was hanging above him the whole time. He could have simply held a mannequin head upside down in front of the camera to create that effect, but his terrified squeal says otherwise. Leaked <laughs> video comes from the Kalovsky Airport in Russia. One of the planes loses all stability and wobbles unsteadily, trying its best to navigate a safe path through heavy air currents. The pilot continues to wrestle with the controls, which are becoming more unstable by the minute, and I think I see a small fire under the wheel. If he misses the runway here, there's no circling around for a second chance. The wings dip unevenly as the plane disappears behind the tree line. No one can see what is happening and they listen for the worst. A short while later, the plane miraculously emerges from behind the trees and touches down. The passengers get to live another day. In this scary video, Exploring with Josh explores the historic RRS Discovery, one of the most haunted ships in Britain. The team invites the spirits to speak, and they do in their own way. You can talk to us here now. That is creepy. I swear to God, there's someone walking around in there. I just saw a shadow. Bro, bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most. No, no, put the light on it. Well, that is the most. There's something room. inside there. I'm telling you now. Oh my. What? Yeah, I saw a shadow plane there. I believe you. Bro. They continue to communicate with this spirit. With that device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? Oh my oh. god! You oh my god! That's f oh crazy. my god! You can't f that up. When they go and collect a recording device from that room, they hear the spirit's response to some of their questions. It is the yes, crew. It is, it is the crew. It is the crew. Hang on. It is the crew. You can't hear us. As the presence intensifies, they hear footsteps. You got it? And that, yeah. And that was after I heard the bed moving, bro. I'm telling you, there's somebody in this room moving. Right, we're coming back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're all stuck together? Where did it come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like a dash run. That went through there. Was that the captain again? With all of this paranormal evidence, I have to believe that the RRS Discovery still carries an immortal brew, but they are probably as cold as Antarctica. Filipino YouTuber TABIAPO has captured a real Sigbin on camera in Barangay Sanko.
After finding evidence of the creature, they come to the edge of this tall grass. And guys, pinawag na natin yung mga elemento. Tignan natin kung lalabas ngayong hapon. That's when they see this. Ito na yung sinasabi ko si Pin, guys. Nakita nyo? Ayan, oh. The creature has black fur. You can't even discern shades of color. He looks like a shadow himself. Then it starts coming toward them. Para pupunta siya dito. Alis to, alis to ah. O yan, diyan ka lang. O mga katabs, tingnan niyo ah. Aagisan ko ng dapag na may orasyon. Apparently, these leaves are protection. What do you think of the sigbin? To me, it looks a bit like a monkey with large bat-like ears. Its complete darkness also instills paranormal fear of the unknown. All I know is, I don't want that thing feeding on my shadow. A YouTuber named More Bad Ideas is riding his bike late at night. He normally would never go out at this odd hour, but he just got home from vacation and he just can't wait until the morning breaks to ride again. It's a decision that he will soon regret. He's popping wheelies down empty streets and old parking lots when he comes across a random golf ball sticking out from a sewer grate. He's amused and throws it around for a bit. It lands in some grass next to something much weirder. A camcorder laying in a wet plastic bag. The camera still has a memory card and some battery life, so he curiously presses play. Yo. What the f*** is this? Dude, are you serious right now? Yo, is that a f knife with blood? In case you couldn't see the screen clearly, the video shows a woman tied to a chair, whimpering. Suddenly, a car puts its high beams on and floors it towards him. He hops on his bike and narrowly gets away. He sees the person chasing him one more time, a short while later, and then he barely escapes again. The CCTV was taken at an office building at around 2.30 in the morning. It was noticed immediately by security because the camera only turns on when something moves. A shadowy mass starts at floor level, stops for a second, and then quickly scales up the wall, possibly continuing on to move through the ceiling itself, all while leaving no visible form of entry or making a sound. I don't know what object would have made this strange oval shadow take shape, and neither do the security guards. I think there's a strong chance that this is paranormal, but if not, leave me your best guess as to what this possibly could have been. This possible deep web video was discovered and posted by a YouTube channel called Grizz Overkill. In it, two bizarre looking figures walk forward in jerky, unnatural movements. The first one is dressed like a witch and has long, gnarled limbs and fingers on display. The second one is dressed the same way and is wearing what I hope is a mask and not its real face. Let me know if you recognize these figures from any television or movie series. I would feel a lot better knowing that this is just a film set and not a real video. If this does turn out to be real, then I don't even want to know its location or the surrounding circumstances. While exploring an abandoned house, make note of what happens in your periphery. Published in March of 2021, the footage you're about to see was recorded in France around 11 p.m. As a pair of paranormal investigators round the corner of a dark, empty room, they discover that it isn't empty after all. Just beyond a picture that's leaning against the wall, a figure moves quickly out of sight as the light falls upon it. It happens so fast that it's difficult to see what the figure even is, but it appears as though it's crouched slightly as it rises up before pulling out of view. 
The two-man crew approaches the hallway to investigate, but there's nothing there. Did it somehow soundlessly disappear into one of these rooms? Or as we suspect, did it disappear into thin air? To kick off this entry, we enter the medieval old town of Edinburgh. The storied history of Scotland's capital lends itself to some truly legendary hauntings. This video illustrates that no matter where you turn in Edinburgh, you may find yourself face to face with the paranormal. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Rocket League RL, something frightening is caught on film in this normal, everyday Edinburgh park. Even J.K. Rowling found ghostly inspiration in Edinburgh, citing the very real Greyfriars Kirkyard, where you will find some of her character names taken straight from the cemetery's very own tombstones. Needless to say, Edinburgh is the perfect scene for paranormal sightings, as this video goes to show, on the banks of a lake, across the jungle gym bars of a playground, a phantom woman appears to stand still, as day turns to dusk, apart from the ghastly image of this figure stood unmoving there, strange incoherent sounds are heard throughout the clip. <gasps> Is this a case of Edinburgh's terrifying history come to life? Or are our eyes deceiving us? A YouTuber named Bria Studolo says that she installed a security camera, specifically due to this problem neighbor. The man walks up to her home and according to Bree, starts watching her through the window. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I do think it's strange that he stands on her front door for over half a minute without knocking. According to Bree, he makes eye contact with her through the window and then begins frantically knocking to cover up his actions. He says he needs to use her backyard to get to a breaker box that they share. The only thing is that there is an easier route to take to the breaker box that's not through her backyard in the dark, so this could just be a made-up excuse. She claims that he has taken pictures of her through the window before and I do find it weird that he takes his phone out moments before he is discovered. Based on this video, let me know what you make of this situation, and how much danger you think Bree was actually in. It's a dreary and overcast day when a YouTuber named Sharby straps a GoPro on his head and heads into an abandoned graveyard with his friends. This eerie graveyard is surrounded by woods and is in the middle of nowhere, as Sharby puts it, and they are hoping to find some adventure. They are checking out old headstones and goofing off when a frightening discovery suddenly changes the mood. What? Is that a knife, dude? It appears to be a rusty old crowbar that was perhaps used to dig up graves. Both Sharby and his friend instantly get a bad feeling, and Sharby throws it to the ground, suddenly wanting nothing to do with the ancient object. They keep exploring and eventually come across a grave from 1811. The unshakable feeling of dread just won't go away, and suddenly it begins to snow, which is very odd weather for October. Not too far away, they discovered a battered doll and get seriously freaked out by its mere presence. Okay, yo, let's get the f out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, okay, that's it. Some branches snap in the nearby woods and they quickly flee before they can find out what was near them. Tiffany of the YouTube channel called Beauty and the Beastins is making a home vlog when she turns the corner and passes something terrifying that she won't even notice until editing days later. And two, he was bringing in like all. Was bringing in like all. This all black outline looks to be about half her size and barely human. It's facing away, and its bald head is hunched over a wide cloak that extends to the floor. I was thinking this could be a hat rack or something, except it appears to be in the bathroom, and I can see one of its long, gnarled hands poking out of an oversized sleeve. Judging from this video, I think this is either something paranormal, or else a home intruder unlike any I have ever seen before. 
If I saw movement of any kind, I would have no doubt that this was real. Since the figure seems to stand completely still though, I will admit that I have my doubts. But more importantly, what do you think this is? What happens when the next generation wants nothing to do with the family property in the middle of nowhere? Published by Jordan Sovis, Jordan and Chris explore a house that's been abandoned out in the country for a couple of years. They crawl under the garage door and jimmy their way in using a credit card. Inside they find a lovely piano for the ghost pianist to play. And while searching the place, they spot someone outside. Dude, there's a dude outside. What? Hasn't this place been abandoned for like... Ever? Is this the home's caretaker? Or something else entirely? Using a pendulum, they start asking the ghosts questions. They ask if they're in good spirits, and they're told no. Later, they ask the spirits if they can make their presence known, and the spirit answers, Are you present with us here in this house? As they start to panic, the ghosts don't let up. Did that seriously just happen? Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? Was that you? For some reason, even after all of that, the guys stay. They again ask if there are spirits here, and this time the spirits reply with a song. The piano keeps playing, even after they've raced out of the house. No way, dude. Dude. No way, did that piano just seriously play by itself? Do it again, do it again, do it again. <sighs> Still, they return. The piano continues to play and then this happens. Not long after, the ghost goes full on poltergeist. Now we can see why this home was abandoned in the first place. What was it? Go, you go first, man. I don't want to be in this Dude, place. I don't want it straight up. Holy Dude, what Why are you laughing right now? Seriously. What is going on? I'm delirious. <laughs> Ghost Tales published this video in 2013. The description reads, Dog senses a ghost in the room. Captured on film is the ghost actually throwing the ball. The clip begins with a doll just staring into the living room. Then, all of a sudden, she starts barking. She retreats into the kitchen, where her owner stands filming the strange event. The dog heads slowly back into the living room, sniffing around. She creeps back in, lifting a leg tentatively as she peers out into the living room. There appears to be something draped on the table and the dog starts barking towards it. The dog then picks up a ball it found on the floor and then gets distracted by something else she found on the floor. Then she hears a noise that makes her spring and stare at the thing on the table again. She sniffs around it and is distracted again by the ball. Although the dog in this video does seem to be spooked by something, it doesn't appear as if the ball was thrown at it. As the author claims, but if you see it in this clip, let us know in the comments. This port city in western Saudi Arabia looks like the aftermath of a building collapse or else some kind of terrible eruption, but it's none of that. It's actually just starting and the worst is yet to come. The massive plume of smoke spreads evenly across the horizon and at 1 minute and 15 seconds you briefly get a glimpse of where it finally ends. There's no outrunning this event and finding shelter is almost pointless. The cloud is growing taller by the minute as it heads towards them. The air is becoming gritty and it's getting harder to breathe. Vehicles desperately try to get away at the last second, but it's too late for any of them to get far, nor the cameraman for that matter, who seems resigned to his fate and makes no such attempt. This is a massive sandstorm and if you haven't found shelter by now, you're in big trouble. The winds pick up and everything around him starts creaking unsteadily. Ja, dat is er lang. Dat is er lang zo'n storm. Oké. Okay. Ja, dat is er lang, dat is er lang. Ja, zie je, zie je. 
someone tell me what his last words are and if you think he made it through this event. Dada. Those are the last recorded moments before I assume the sand broke his camera. We may not get to see what happens next, but I doubt it was anything good. Either way, there's something about the possibility of this whole town getting buried alive that makes this video creepy beyond words. And it was just such a chilling investigation. I am so excited to share it with you. Haley Reese is walking through the woods when she and her friends stumble upon an old historic building known as the Griffin House. The woods around this area are supposedly quite haunted, and so they decide to conduct an impromptu paranormal investigation. It isn't long before something spooky happens. I'm walking around to see if there's anything that you guys can. Haley's friends claim to see curtains moving with no one inside, and when Haley approaches the Griffin house at 10 minutes and 16 seconds, you can see the curtains just barely part in the middle. Determined to get better evidence of the paranormal, Haley focuses her camera squarely on the window. She's expecting to catch a ghost on video at any minute, but nothing happens for a while. Then all of a sudden... Move the blind more. Whoa. As Haley later explains, the building has been closed to the public for months, so no one was inside. However, it could have been a draft in the house causing the curtains to move. There does appear to be a strong breeze blowing through the trees when they see it happen. This leaked video is over 10 years old and comes from Tacoma County in Washington. A couple are hiking together on Valentine's Day when they hear something in the sky and look up. God. That is on fire. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy sh. Oh my god. Some kind of meteorite falls towards Earth, and they rush down the path to investigate. They quickly find the rock sticking out of the ground and make a quick video to document their find. Get me and it. Yes, it is. Go talk, this please. This thing has come out of the sky. A meteorite. <gasps> Their reactions seem pretty real, but I'm not sure if I believe that a meteorite could land that closely without causing some kind of damage to them. Let me know if you think this video is legitimate. I'm especially interested in learning exactly what happens to people who are close to a meteorite, because from what I understand, I thought they usually go deaf from the impact. Fallon Taylor is a YouTuber who got the scare of a lifetime while competitively riding. She has almost finished a timed run when a surprised audience member points to something off camera. Less than four seconds later, a huge white bull breaks free from its pen and nearly collides with Fallon Taylor and her horse. Watch again and you'll see how close Fallon comes to getting knocked clean off. She barely dodges the bull by a few feet and makes it back to the safety of the horse pen. At first, I thought the perspective made the event look exaggerated, but Fallon later says she had to put her arm out and could almost touch the bull. I definitely believe her, but I'd like to know how close you thought the bull was when you first saw this video. Is someone there? Post it to the ghosts subreddit. Resurrect writes, the DeSoto Mine in Arizona is the creepiest place I've ever been. At the time this was taken, nobody else was there. Yet, listen closely to their recording. From deep within the mine, you can hear footsteps walking on what sounds like wooden planks. The Redditor says in the video that his eyes are playing tricks on him, but he writes that they didn't hear anything but water droplets at the time. They only heard the footsteps later as they watched the recording back. Is something in this tunnel with them? Some in the comments think it's paranormal. Others suggest the water droplet theory, which is that the echoing of water droplets can distort to the point that they sound like other sounds. What do you think? Is this nothing but distorted water droplets? Or is something at the end of that dark tunnel? Two friends look out the window and see a mysterious figure dressed in all white roaming the graveyard without shoes. 
She has her head down and pays absolutely no attention to them, even as they call out to her. Hey, what you doing, girl? Yo, that is creepy you know, as. What the? F what happened? What the f is she doing? Why is she touching other people's graves? Finally, she starts to walk towards them and they quiet down. One of the friends quickly points out that now she knows where they live. He screams out the window that she's scaring him and she walks away, still completely lost in her own world. Here's where things get even more weird. She heads to the back of the graveyard, spins around a few times, and then disappears behind a tall gravestone. I'm holding this camera until she come out from behind that tombstone. Yo, she's not coming back. She's gone. Where the f did she go? We watched her walk behind the tombstone and she's gone. They think that she has vanished, but I think she could have just been sitting down on the other side. The two friends say that they kept filming for a long time and never saw her again, so maybe she really did disappear. Still, it's hard to tell if this was a genuine spirit or just someone with a morbid attraction to graveyards. This Dog Knows What's Up, published by Ghost Hunting Unique 0.4 in April of 2022. This dog is seen staring down the road. He then runs away without explanation. That's when this figure appears suddenly in the middle of the road. The figure later vanishes. But then this weirdo pops up, scaring a passerby. It's unclear what he wants, but he too vanishes after a moment. Later, another figure disappears as he's crossing the street. Is this just a road of no return? The Bermuda Triangle of Pavement? Or is something else going on here? Here's another strange basement video that doesn't seem to have any good explanation besides the paranormal. A YouTuber named David's Ghost Cams has recently installed a brand new smoke and carbon monoxide detector that seems to be acting quite strangely. First of all, it only goes off when he is downstairs. Second, it tells him that the carbon monoxide levels are at 0%, which means it shouldn't be going off at all. Finally, it tells him to get out of his home. Okay, so we're gonna go downstairs, and I'm going to show you what happened the other night. Look what happens as soon as he steps foot in the basement. Keep in mind that this alarm has not gone off since the last time he went downstairs. There's obviously no smoke to speak of. This, combined with other weird happenings, has David convinced that his basement is quite haunted. David explains that he once had a house guest who stayed in the basement over three months before taking his life. Everyone was surprised. Ever since then, David has noticed things in the house moving around by themselves strange noises, and most recently, the faulty smoke alarm. Even stranger is that how, as soon as David starts talking about the smoke alarm again, it goes off on its own for a second time. The only explanation I have for this video is that somehow David is manually testing the smoke detector himself and blaming it on a ghost as a prank. However, all of the smoke detectors I've ever seen requires you to physically press a button. This one really does seem to be going off all by itself. This brings me to an interesting point. If David's house guest was a friend, then why would he be telling him to leave his home? Perhaps there is some sort of danger. Perhaps he is trying to warn David of a gas leak or an impending fire. I guess only time will tell. This odd and mysterious sighting in the sky has been viewed online by hundreds of people who have been unable to provide a proper explanation. The strange object floats from behind a tree and travels very fast. The oddly long shape does not look like a drone sighting to me, and it doesn't have any lights or identifying features. 
It's too far away to tell what it is for sure, but at the same time, it's close enough to tell that it's beyond creepy. There's a YouTube channel called The Zero F Folio of Shakespeare that posts nothing but weird Shakespearean quotes in a low, menacing voice. <laughs> Somebody has been posting dozens of these videos for over a year now despite most of them having only 5 views or less. I don't really understand what these videos could possibly mean individually or when put together. All I know is that it's almost like whoever is uploading these videos is on some kind of mysterious mission with a hidden purpose that I doubt is benign. Anyway, here's where things get really weird. The right side of these videos has always shown static for the past year, but at the end of their latest video posted four months ago, the static suddenly clears and this scary event happens. I also noticed how the thumbnail for this video looks different than the others, further adding to the mystery. All of the other thumbnails show the same image of static, but this newest one clearly shows a strange looking man wearing what appears to be clothing from another time period. Take a look at the channel and let me know if you think this is just a clever gimmick or some kind of nefarious creation loaded with hidden messages. It seems these poltergeists have left their group projects until the last minute, published by Amar Ajola in September of 2014. This scary video caught some paranormal activity in a computer lab in Delhi's Karkardoma Court. The footage shows a man sitting in a computer lab. He appears to be waiting to capture some strange activity on his camera, and then it happens. One computer monitor turns on, after another, after another. They each turn on in their own time across the lab. No one else is in the room. So the mysterious behavior of the monitors is unnerving. Some think it's a prank using remote activation. Others think it's a ghost programmer needing to complete a project. Many note the orb activity in the video. Are these the entities that are present? It's certainly seeming that way to me. A lot of people want to know where the line is when art goes too far, and the answer is when your painting starts moving by itself. There's no loud construction sending vibration through the walls, no jets overhead, no trains, just a picture bouncing against the wall. Maybe they put a magnet on the picture, and a magnet of the same pole on the other side of the wall to make them repel. Or maybe they should just move like he says. In 2009, a paranormal research group was tasked with investigating ghost sightings at a cemetery in Tampa Bay. They review weeks worth of footage and uncover some weird things caught on camera. They think this video is paranormal because an odd light goes behind a marker, placing this object, be it a ghost, an orb, or whatever you want to call it, somewhere behind the fence. Therefore, it's not a bug or a dust particle moving up close, though it could simply be edited. The ghost hunters claim to record the spot for three more weeks before any other paranormal evidence is caught on video. This time, their camera picks up a shadow figure moving off screen, along with some kind of ethereal mist blanketing this area that does not look like normal fog. It happens at the same time a car drives by, so I'm hoping this shadow figure is just caused by passing headlights. Otherwise, this video might be as paranormal as they say. Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is exploring this scary house with ghosts, and he's in for a real boo. While searching what looks like a storage area of the home, he falls to the ground. <laughs> In fact, it looks like he breaks clean through the ground, and he does. The disturbance is captured from another room. A mysterious anomaly is seen in that same storage room. And that anomaly may be getting aggressive with him. Yeah. 
but nothing is there, or so it seems. Just as he's decided to leave, he's confronted by the ghost again. <laughs> One actually might think it's an earthquake, if not for the terrifying knowledge that this place is haunted. Later, he hears a whole lot of ruckus again and goes to investigate, when, behind him, there's a growl. What sort of beast is in here with Dennis? I don't think that's a ghost. Sounds more like a demon to me. Arachnophobes beware. This video is straight out of Ron Weasley's Nightmares. Published by Exotic Slayer in October of 2018. Footage of this spider will remind you why so many people fear them. The Goliath Bird Eater is the world's largest spider by mass and size. Goliath calls South America home, and its leg span is second only to the giant huntsman spider. Goliath is called a bird eater for a reason. A copper engraving, made by Maria Sibylla Marion, in the 18th century depicts the giant spider chowing down on a hummingbird. But don't worry, birds aren't often the spider's prey. Rather, he prefers worms, amphibians, insects, and other arachnopods. Although Goliath has been known to eat things as large as rodents, lizards, and snakes. Imagine running into this spider in your jungle lair. It's what nightmares are made of. A man follows his girlfriend everywhere with a camera to annoy her because he thinks it's funny. He was never expecting to have caught the scariest moment of his life on tape instead. A fully clothed figure reaches out for him after his girlfriend has left the room. When he pulls back the curtain, it's mysteriously gone. The paranormal moment looks scary, but I think there's a strong chance it's scripted. 38 seconds is when there could have been a jump cut. A jump cut is when they stopped recording, let the actress out of the shower, and start recording again to make it look like no one is there. Also, at 42 seconds, it doesn't look like the shower is on. What on earth is this creature? Nair BR writes of this bizarre sighting on camera. This strange creature got caught up in strong winds and his wife was cleaning when it blew into the house. I was thinking it might be a territorial dispute between two insects, but as it unravels at 2 minutes and 25 seconds, it looks like one big creepy squirming oddity. The way it moves is unlike a snake or a worm or anything I've really seen before. It looks just as confused of us as we are of it, forming strange spiral shapes as it tumbles about, reaching out for something to grab onto. A host, perhaps. Whatever it is, it looks like something that crawls straight up your nose and takes over your brain. A parasite moving on to its next victim. Now that I've seen it, much like Nair BR, I want to know what on earth this creature is, and so I turn to you for an explanation. A man has a rather big problem in a small room. His lights are turning on and off on their own, and he can't figure out why. Across from him is a light switch that he is standing nowhere near. Not that pressing the light switch makes much of a difference. The light keeps turning on and off in rhythmic intervals regardless, like something's trying to communicate to him its presence. After five minutes, it finally stops through no doing of its own, and it never happens again. He shows every wall except the one to his immediate left, so perhaps a second person is standing by a dimmer switch to fake this video. But what's weird is how, almost two years ago to the very day, he caught something on camera that was bizarre. A door that kept opening on its own. Oh 
No one is visible on the other side of the door when it oddly opens, like the lights. The door only did this for a single day and never again was a ghost to blame. Up a long forest mountain path is an abandoned house near the Chinese city of Chengdu that is said to be haunted. An explorer named the Sneezing Monkey travels to the fabled house to see if anything paranormal is there. There's not much left inside, but he does find an old book that he seems particularly interested in. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, it almost looks like it gets slapped out of his hands by a possible ghost, but he could have dropped it too. Tell me what these pages say. For some reason, he seems to feel it's interesting enough to show the camera. Not much else happens, and just when I was doubting this house was haunted, I hear this. He's looking in some kind of fire pit or something and hears a noise. He looks up and hears it again coming from the attic. He doesn't stick around for long and wisely decides to leave. Located in the UK, Bishton Hall is one of the most haunted places in the country. YouTuber Ghost Shift UK explores these hallowed halls in this scary video, and they quickly get a reading on their paranormal devices. Whoa! Hello! Whoa! That is completely mental. When he asks the spirits to trigger the K2, they comply. Can you just make that K2 red? Can you do that again, please? Make it go to red. Wow. That's proper max now. Then, out of nowhere, the spirit shares its name through the spirit box. Jesus. Jesus. Gerald. Okay. Even the ambient noises in the cellar sound haunting. He then hears a voice, which he describes as a shout. I'm just a, so much just shouting so And then he hears this strange noise. That's freaked me out lot. I'm convinced. It might have been ghost you back. When he returns to the room to check out the ghost tube device, he captures these EVPs. He heads upstairs to set up his devices in the headmaster's room, where they immediately detect activity. Creeps really bad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's that then? Clearly, the headmaster is here. Max now, that is big time. Thank you, can you stop, can you? Can you stop for me? Please? Stop. Thank you. Although we don't see any paranormal activity, we do hear a lot throughout this investigation. Ghost Shift UK calls Bishton Hall the most haunted place he's ever explored. It does appear to me to have significance in multiple energies, but I can't tell whether they're good or evil. A YouTuber named Spunk Flunk recorded this video with the innocent intention of asking people to follow him on Google+. Little did he realize the paranormal moment that he accidentally caught while filming the video. If you look at the doll on the bed at the 29 second mark, you will clearly see that the doll moves its hand to the side and then back down. Um, click add to circles and then just click following. That'd be awesome. It'll only take like a few seconds and that'll get me to 1,000 followers. The fact that it moves its hand back down makes me think this video was not done by a string. In addition, most of his recent videos have nothing to do with the paranormal. What do you think caused this bizarre moment? Imagine this in the middle of the forest. Shit. Yeah. I'm out of here. 
That's what YouTube team Ghost Theory heard in these haunted woods during a paranormal investigation, and apparently it knows something. Come and touch the device if you know anything about the girl that was... A second question results in more mysterious answers. If what that girl was not a person. And then another unfortunate one. What is, that? is that a skinwalker? And finally, they hear it. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'd be out of there too. I have no idea what a skinwalker sounds like, but to me, that did not sound animal, nor did it sound human. A YouTuber named Brett Johnson says there is a ghost in the hallway of his house haunting him every night when he returns from work, and what's most bizarre is that the paranormal activity only happens in the hallway. The ghost doesn't seem to care about haunting any other places. It's not a draft either. Even with a big fan blowing the opposite way, a ghost still closes the door, and when he puts his camera down and waits for two hours, the door behind the fan mysteriously opens. It's like the ghost is messing with his mind. I would say that this is a fake video except for one thing. When he investigates the rest of his house to show us, nothing is there. A weird noise happens nearby, like something passes right by him, and it seems to have left through the front door. A YouTuber named Kyle Harrison is playing with his toddler in the living room when suddenly a toy starts to make strange sounds, almost as if it's saying something backwards. It's going to have nightmares from this. <laughs> well, some people can hear backwards chanting. Others hear a different message. When you play this video at half speed, you can almost hear a voice say something like, It's near, or it's here. It's Let me know if you heard what I am talking about, or if you think that this is an ordinary coincidence. Also, I have to add that one person in the comments section says that they own this toy and they have never heard it do this. Even when the batteries run low, maybe somebody else can identify this toy and back up this claim. This room was where a man sadly ended his own life. Now his spirit is thought to be trapped in the home with no way out. They are recording a few feet from where he was found when they detect movement in the corner. Tell me if you see it because I had to watch this video twice before I did. A small shadow goes by so fast that it is almost impossible to notice without slowing down the speed. They are shining a flashlight into a pitch black room, so there really is nothing moving in front of them that would cast a shadow. Blurry Faces is a YouTuber exploring two mysterious schools standing next to each other. They were both built around World War II and have been abandoned for a long time. Everything starts out normal until Blurry Faces is exploring an upstairs room full of classroom furniture. After that, something seems to be stalking them at every turn. The strange banging noises only grow louder and more persistent as time wears on. I will give them credit for being courageous and sticking around for so long. This is the event that finally makes them lose their composure and scramble. This time Blurry Faces bravely tests the weight of the door himself and finds that it's way too heavy to swing open with such ease. You can tell he is putting a lot more effort into opening and closing the door than whatever just opened it moments earlier. Tell me what's written in Spanish across the door and if it has any significance to what could be possibly lurking inside. 9 out of 10 people do not immediately notice what's wrong with this handshake, so allow me to show you where to look. Trust me, you'll be sorry that I did. Give me your hand. I like cake, I just don't like icing. 
That's my main. This is someone's right hand, and yet they're on the left side. Also, look at their fingernails. They're facing the wrong way. How can this be? The answer isn't pretty. The condition is called hypermobility. Though the phrase double jointed is commonly used, it's mostly genetic, meaning you are either born with this unusually large range of movement or not. Only 20% of people have it, though typically not to this degree, and there's no way for the rest of us to gain this talent, if you want to call it that, so don't even try to practice. Like most people, watching this video makes me feel like my fingers are going to fall off. Tell me if you would be able to shake the hand of someone with hypermobility while they were doing this. I mean, it's creepy, but also kind of cool. A TikTok user named Caesar in MP is piloting a plane when he sees an oddly terrifying unknown flying object skimming the clouds. <laughs> Just below, the tiny circular object appears to have no propellers and emits no exhaust. It looks like it's moving extremely fast, but keep in mind Caesar is passing it in his own aircraft, so its exact speed is unknown. A regular civilian drone could not move at this rate of speed, and its design looks more complex than a regular drone. So what do you think? Secret project? Or something from someplace much farther away than Earth? What you are witnessing is rare underwater footage of a Ningen, a gigantic sea creature apparently first spotted by Pacific fishermen sometime in the 90s. The name literally means human, and that's because they tend to have a round head along with four limbs and a skinny torso. The creature is about the size of a submarine, but looks rubbery and boneless. It appears to be mostly carried by ocean currents and has a limited control over its directional course. Since Ningen sightings are so new, not much is known about these creatures aside from it having a preference for Arctic waters and a nocturnal sleep schedule. There's rumors about various government officials suppressing information from the public, so there's no telling what new Ningen footage will leak in upcoming years. It really makes you wonder what other humanoid monsters are possibly being hidden from the world's eye. A YouTuber named Solar and his friends are checking out an old abandoned hotel that's rumored to be the secret meeting place for an organized cult. The first thing they notice is how the hotel looks to still be in use, despite being abandoned for many years. The pentagram in the floor looks recent and could be used for who knows what. They decide to arm themselves and keep exploring. Eventually, they wind up on an overpass and can see their SUV, but something is out of place. Honestly, like, we want to come back here. Oh, shit, bro. What the No way. Oh, shit. A wheeled cart comes rolling towards them, obviously pushed by someone nearby. The friends know that danger is near, so they race to their car and get out of there before the cult has a chance to take them away. Why would you ever chase a ghost? Ask these children, who came across one while playing at night. The description of this video explains that a week after a woman took her own life, the residents claim that a female ghost with long hair was plaguing the area after curfew. Children were trying to catch a bird in the area at night, when instead they found the ghost and gave chase. In the footage, the children are crying out and laughing as they chase a figure dressed in white along the railway. The figure is seen in a distance in the darkness. It appears to be walking slowly, swaying slightly. The boy follows just as slowly behind it, keeping a safe distance from the figure. Kids in the background eventually start crying. At the end of the video, the figure leaves the tracks and disappears in the darkness. If you ask me, they're lucky they didn't catch it. Friends explore a park in North Hollywood after hearing reports of a maniac approaching random people. Soon they grow bored and decide to try to test the visual range of their night vision camera for fun. He tells his friend to keep moving back until she is barely visible. It's on night vision. Keep going. Soon she is little more than an outline of a black silhouette against the night sky. When she is a good distance away, something that's been watching them the entire time snatches her into the shadows. If this video is real, then whatever grabs her possesses impossible strength and speed. 
It picks her up off her feet like she weighs nothing at all, which makes me wonder how big this creature is and how it manages to move so fast without any sound. A number of scary viral Russian 3AM videos uploaded by Rostelman has everyone spooked, including himself. He wants someone to explain this mysterious event. He keeps going through night after night, so let's help him out. This window is taking some serious punishment from an unseen force and at times sounds ready to break. One night he can take it no more and makes one crucial mistake. He invites it inside. I myself would probably get reinforced steel bars installed on that window before opening it, but I guess he was trying to get a better look at whatever it was, and before you say he should have gone outside to see what it was. Keep in mind it's late at night and freezing cold in Russia, so I wouldn't be in a hurry to confront this paranormal entity either. Valerie Brown posted her dog Ruthie's ghost sighting to YouTube in 2013. She writes in the video description, She barks incessantly as if someone is in there. Everyone said it's a ghost on Facebook. I'm not into paranormal, but people suggest I post this on YouTube. So here it is. As the video begins, the little dog is barking and growling, its tail wagging as it looks into the living room. No one is there, but the dog seems to be highly alert to some presence in the vicinity. The owner asks her dog who she's barking at, but of course, she just continues barking, appearing as though she thinks it's obvious who she's barking at. The owner moves into the living room, and the dog follows, running around to the front of the sofa. The dog's eyes are focused in on one spot, suggesting the invisible entity must be staying in place. In fact, when the dog moves to the front of the sofa, it seems to be barking at someone who's sitting on the sofa. Only there appears to be exactly zero people lounging there. The dog runs back to the opposite side of the sofa, and as the owner ends the video by telling Ruthie again that there's no one there, the dog barks in disagreement, continuing to appear in high alert. What does Ruthie see? Is it an evil spirit, or is it friendly? My bet is on evil as she certainly seems to be perturbed by its presence. This clip shows a normal psychedelic filter, the electric color surrounding the girl in frame. She then turns her camera to span the room. The filter follows for a moment before becoming absent from the shot, as the room is empty. Or is it? The person detecting filter appears to detect someone in the chair sitting opposite. No one is there, and yet the silhouette of a human form starts to appear in the shot in shocking black and white. It seems to be seated in the chair. The girl turns the filter back to her face, and the shocking figure follows, blending into the psychedelic filter colors around her again. Redditor HydraWrench97 is both tentative in jumping to the paranormal and rightly creeped out. She writes, Usually these Snapchat filter ghost clips are glitching and basically the camera falling. 
for pareidolia but this one is weird might just be the spookiest glitch ever but it is very weird and would scare me if that was my living room maybe it sees something we don't while touring this haunted home, YouTuber Dimitri from A Sip of Fear finds that devilry is at play. First he hears it. Later, after setting up some cameras, his work is thrown to the ground. It seems to me that the devil does not wish to be captured on camera, but he has no say in the matter. If I were Dimitri, I'd be getting out of there ASAP. A YouTuber named Blamsuka is nervously waiting for an intense water park ride to begin. He knows something is wrong as soon as his friend deploys and he is still stuck in the tube. Soon it becomes apparent that getting out is not going to be easy, especially considering the door is sealed shut by a control panel that seems not to be working properly. You okay in there? If the ride starts with Blamzuka in this position, he could easily land wrong and cause some damage. He is forced to remain in the tube with his hands over his shoulders, almost like a casket, with cold water running down his back the whole time. They eventually open the door and get him into the second tube. When this tube fails in the exact same way, they finally send him down the ride on a third tube. Judging from his scared reaction, I'm surprised he did not quit when the same thing happened a second time. A musical performance tunes up the paranormal apparently. Published by Chloe Fantion in July of 2013. Two men are playing music together in a bedroom, one guitarist and one violinist. They wrap up their song and leave the room, letting their camera roll. Once they've left, a shirt drapes over the shelf, falling down strangely, like there's a body inside. A moment later, items fall from the top shelf, and then both instruments start moving at once. The guitar falls completely off of the bed. Was this duo's music so haunting that it conjured up the paranormal? Or is something even more sinister going on here? A YouTuber named Outdoors Weekly is fishing with his little brother. When he gets a little too comfortable with his surroundings, and makes the mistake of letting his guard down. Oh! No! Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh. He sees the snake at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, and hears his raised foot approximately 1 second later at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, ready to come down. He was about to step right on it, no doubt about that, but I want to know how bad the bite would have been. Take a look at this reptile. Is this one you can identify? Thanks for the answer, if so. A YouTuber named MKP Studios wants to record some creepy Alexa moments on camera, so he decides to ask Alexa some creepy questions to see how scary Alexa can get. He starts off by asking Alexa a question about passing away. At first, he receives a thoughtful reply. Everyone has their own views on that question. But then he makes the mistake of asking the same question twice. Ask that once more, Alexa, what happens after death? She just straight up doesn't answer that second time. He says that Alexa mysteriously turns off by itself, but at 4 minutes and 8 seconds, it looks like there was some quick editing to make it look like that's what happened. Anyway, there's one creepy question that you should never ask Alexa, so that's exactly what he starts asking. Give me the 5-9. Proceed carefully, because your choices are recorded, and your every move is watched. There are no cuts this time, at least none that I can see. It seems like Alexa just straight up warned him that he was under surveillance for saying some kind of code phrase. He's already feeling watched and paranoid, and what makes this scary Alexa moment even scarier is that Alexa won't stop referring to him as a friend. So, hello, friend. Alexa, Welcome to the Daily Fox. Stop. 
Hello, friend. What the f is happening? Really Alexa, stop talking. Hello, friend. The only way to make Alexa stop saying the mysterious response is to unplug it. Later on, he decides why not see if he can get some scary Suri responses too. To be honest, Suri responds with mostly normal answers. That is, until the program slips up and possibly reveals who it's really working for. Hey Siri, can I speak to the devil? Sure, I'm here. <laughs> That's creepy. He can't believe what he hears, so he decides to ask Siri the same question in a different way, hoping to get a different response. This time, he uses a word I can't say. It's another name for the Lord of the Underworld. Can I talk to Lu Of course. That's what I'm here for. Go ahead. No such luck. Suri responds. Suri answers the question both times in the affirmative. I definitely agree that such a scary response from Suri would be creepy to hear, especially while alone in your house. I'm hoping that Suri somehow misheard him both times, but something tells me it knows exactly what he's asking. I wouldn't recommend asking Suri and Alexa any creepy questions unless you want some strange moments of your own. Would you be able to sleep after seeing this? This video is a re-upload shared by YouTuber Randy Stover. I was unable to track down the original source. At first, the person looks as though they were perhaps jolted awake from a nightmare. Then this happens. Something apparently paranormal is lifting them by their feet from the bed. Is this just some crazy abnormal gravitational pull? Or has something demonic entered the scene? I think this is a true case of paranormal activity. Fishing line would tear painfully into the ankles, so I don't see any other explanation for this one. The Sonora Inn was built in 1896 and is infamously haunted by many a spirit. Thomas writes that he worked night shift there in 2018. As he was setting up for breakfast at 5 a.m., this is what was captured on security camera. Watch the bowl he places on the counter in the top right corner. Let's see it again. Do you believe in this dining room poltergeist? I feel it might be a case of the wet surface of the bowl acting as a lubricant. After all, he did say it was a bowl of ice, but that's just my theory. What do you think? Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Oh, I move this. Move this way. Feel scary, cat, dude. It could have been rats or whatever. What about it? We got a whole bunch of rats. Nah, man. The one who hasn't heard the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like the light right there, the string. It's around here somewhere. Hold up. Oh, I can't read. Can't reach. I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. Dude. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. What a oh shit! Fast, man! One minute and 27 seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening up to greet him. He's screaming and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space before it reaches him. 
The man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure, but think about it. Can't reach, I, got, I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. <laughs> Why would there be a chair positioned directly under his crawl space entrance, unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home? I don't think this is a ghost haunting the basement. I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. Anyway, that's my analysis, but what do you make of this strange sighting? The G Team Paranormal is visiting this creepy cemetery at midnight. They say it's known for its shadows and other paranormal activity. Let's see what they captured. One of their paranormal devices goes off right away. <gasps> Did you see that? It lit yeah, up all colors. Red. Yeah. Can you hold it on red then? Hate. It says hate. Another is triggered as they wait in the darkness. Yeah, it did. Oh, there it goes again. It heard you. <laughs> then a series of events occurs. All right, there was something that was just glowing right over there, guys. I don't know what the <laughs> that was. Whoa, something just flew and landed in this tree. What? Really? Happiness. happiness. I swear to God, something just landed in this tree. It's landed death. at the bottom of the tree. Oh, it says happiness, death. Dad? What? Well, we're in a cemetery. Right. Again, a device goes off. And amongst the creepiest of their captures, they film what looks like a tall, dark shadow. Later, a connect reveals the spirits holding hands with one of the team. What's going on, guys? Why? She puts his hands in her hands. Oh my. Yo, he's gone. Horses. Oh, there, oh, yeah, he, is. there he is. Oh my. God, look at that. Watch. Look, he's grabbing her hand. Look. He's still doing it. Yeah. Oh my. God. The shadow and this connect energy are it for me. The spirits are lively in this cemetery. A YouTuber named Herb Doggy is diving underwater when he sees a small cave that looks interesting. In less than a minute, he is being chased out by something that's not even human. A giant moray eel slithers out of its hiding hole and appears to chase Herb Doggy away, though I'm not entirely sure. I would like to know how territorial these creatures are and if they really would chase someone away. I'd also really like to know if this was an electric eel or not, in which case I totally understand why Herb Doggy was in so much of a hurry to get out of there. So first, a little backstory. A deleted Reddit account posted a photo of a broadcast interruption they experienced on July 24th, 2022, asking if anyone else had experienced the same thing. On screen, there's a photo of a boy who is apparently missing and there's a number to call if you have information as to his whereabouts. Well submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Skeletor, this redditor tried calling the number on screen. It was apparently a Republic of Ireland phone number. Let's watch their submission and see what happened. To re record your message, press hash at any time. In the comments, Disastrous Street 3101 wrote, Seriously weird. If you keep pausing it, you could jot the message down. I really hope the boy isn't in any danger. Well, Golf Whiskey 21 thinks it's the phonetic alphabet. Redditor Ultra Villain even tried to solve the code, and it appears it may be a website, as it ends in .com. This is nothing short of bizarre, and I'll be staying away from this phone number and any websites it tries to take me to. Four, five, six, top, zero, 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 whiskey, Bravo, hotel, Oscar, zero, 
It's 2008 and two friends record themselves playing video games because they're bored and live streaming doesn't exist yet. As they're getting frustrated at Mario and talk trash on each other's skills, they both fail to see a ghostly watcher at the window. At 43 seconds a pale blue face appears and then fades away. It could be a ghost in the window like they claim, but I think more realistically, it was probably a reflection of one of their friends in the same room as them. It kind of looks like one of their friends is shining a flashlight up at their face to give a spooky effect. Even though this video has been freaking people out for over 12 years now, I think it's most likely staged. This miniature forest figure has viewers puzzled. Posted on TikTok by Satpam Horror, a small Barbie-sized creature was captured walking at the edge of the forest. Watch closely. The figure looks just like a human in miniature. What is it though? I'm not sure what this humanoid creature could be, but its movements do not look animated, and it seems to blend well with the setting. Any ideas? Leave them in the comments. There's an abandoned house deep in the forests of Malaysia that was once owned by a kindly elderly man who threw large parties and enjoyed the company of everyone. But one day he mysteriously passed away and in his place moved in rough and mean squatters who used the happy home for their own dark rituals. Now a team of paranormal investigators are looking to see how well these conjuring rites have worked. You're going to hear a noise after the footstep. Is this an animal or someone crying out loud? If it is an animal, we never hear it again, and it isn't long before they find a voodoo doll made from twisted wood scraps. It looks like it took a long time to make and is probably infused with arcane magic. There's a large wooden stick jabbed through its foot, so I think it's been used, but does it work is the question. They don't stick around and leave before whoever made it returns. A light at the far end of a room is swinging by itself when all of the other lights are as still as can be. Now before you tell me that it's under a vent, let me show you the same room from a different angle. Look all the way to the ceiling where the fluorescent light is grounded. No vents anywhere. So what's the deal here? Am I missing something major? Or is this light swinging on its own momentum when there's nothing to make it move? While investigating a local legend known as the woman in the abandoned house, KBC Casadores de Fantasmas spoke to the spirit of the woman's father. Using an infrared camera, they see a strange figure it doesn't appear in the regular camera footage though. While communicating through a spirit box, it sounds like the spirit is saying someone's name. Later, he speaks another name. João, falou certinho. Hilda. Então você conhece a dona Hilda? He then provides this cryptic message. It means this here for her. The father then has a last message. Tem diabo 
This translates to, there is a devil for everything. I'm not sure how to decipher these mysterious messages, but it does seem to me like this father should not be trusted. YouTuber Hey Charmaine began posting about her experiences in her home. As her story unfolds, so does a terrifying truth shared by YouTube channel The Grave Digger. The scary video shows how Charmaine's horror story escalated. It all started with this strange object she found. And, um, I got a pack of Pepperdine like 10 years ago, um, but it's modeled after the Bodhidharma and I don't usually take it out. After setting up security cameras in her room, she captured things moving unexpectedly. A few days later, while the dog was sitting for her friend, this happened. Why are you whining, baby? Cooper, what are you staring at? Dude, there's nothing in the hallway. Later, she captured a figure watching her home in the darkness of night and then heard something inside. After deciding to go stay at her parents' house for a while, things escalated. Watch the doorway behind Charmaine. They have been really nice enough to like let me stay there and... <laughs> what was that thing? I'm not sure what this figure is, but it seems to be related to the mysterious object that Charmaine found. With all these strange events unfolding, Charmaine has lasted a lot longer here than I would have. Shadows can be tricky things. Sometimes they're natural. Other times they lean more towards the paranormal. This one seems to be the latter. Posted on Reddit by user Ukair, the Redditor writes that he still has goosebumps after receiving this clip. Some in the comments admitted to being upset with yet another orb post, but then, after watching it all the way through, their yearning for nightmare fuel was rewarded. Although it just looks like the still image of a cell, wait for it, and wait for it, and wait for it some more, and you just might be rewarded too. The Redditor wrote that his friend works the night shift here at this institution in a former police station. The room where this is filmed is not in current use, but in the past, was a place where people checked out of custody. Some in the comments say the video looks legit, others pointed out a creepy long face that makes a split second appearance. Most in the thread comes to a consensus that this happenstance is very creepy and goosebump inducing. Could it be a haunting, or something worse? Whatever it might be, it's certainly mysterious. A YouTuber named Bay State Hockey watches nervously as a tornado takes shape one field over. There it is. Dad, it's right there. there. It's right there. There it is. Oh my. Dad, 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 dad. That's, that's only a couple hundred feet away, Dad. Come on. Just when it looks like they've outrun the first tornado, they see more problems ahead. There's two! There's like three. There's three of them! Only the only thing that saves them is the fact that the road just so happens to turn in the exact opposite direction as the tornadoes are forming. The YouTuber escapes alive, but I doubt this Florida family will ever forget the time they were wedged between three twisters and almost didn't make it. A YouTuber named Lord Cryptid looks up to see a gorilla-sized creature staring at him from a short distance away. The head and shoulders are clearly defined, but it's not moving at all. So Lord Cryptid decides to get a closer look. It continues to silently regard him as he closes in. Now only a thin patch of thickets and reeds separates him from the threat before him. And when he zooms in, you're not going to believe what he sees. He is only meters away and it still looks like a humanoid, not a bear. 
But when the camera focuses, what was originally an astoundingly scary creature is actually little more than a tree stump. I'm including this video because I feel like it could explain many of the other similar cryptid sightings in the woods. So in the future, unless the creature actually moves, it's probably just a stump. JB records paranormal activity on TikTok when his car door opens by itself and an orb appears. The car door opens even wider and then you see a black orb fly past. It seems like it could be paranormal until you look at the trees blowing and realize the car door probably blew open because it was a windy day. The first orb was probably a lens flare coming off from the car door and the second black orb looks like the shadow of a bird flying by. So well over 6,000 people are saying this is a scary video. I would agree unless you look a little more closely a second time. A YouTuber named Joseph Chancellor is absolutely positive that a ghost has been playing tricks on him, so he sets up a camera to record his apartment at night, since that's when the majority of his otherworldly interactions have occurred. It's past 1 in the morning when orbs begin to dash wildly overhead like fireflies, then something turns on the bathroom lights and puts the faucet on full blast. Soon the door shuts by itself, and maybe it's just me but I think I hear a really weird noise after it closes, kind of like a sigh. Listen to this and let me know if you hear it too. So anyway, Joseph wakes up after a while and he hears the sink running. He immediately checks all around his bathroom, only to find it's completely empty. It's important to note that I didn't see any editing cuts between when the sink turned on and when he checked the room. If this is fake, it's very convincing. Here's another video of the sink on a different night, this time taken in front of a mirror to show that no one was around. Joseph eventually moved away before the paranormal tampering could escalate into something more dangerous. A haunted home in Italy that has been the subject of many failed exorcisms has some incredible paranormal activity caught on tape that almost has to be trick photography. Tell me how this was done before I wake up screaming tonight. It almost looks too well done to be computer editing. A strange white mist in a messy living room in San Francisco has the YouTube community crying paranormal. Whatever this is, it seems like it heads into the light and then abruptly disappears. I've seen a lot of paranormal CCTV videos, and I've never seen anything that looks or moves like this before. It can't be dust because it has two separate parts that move as one. So tell me what you think this is, a real ghost or something else completely different? This one's a lot more boo than peak, published by Fun with SK in May of 2022, and originally published by YouTuber Simply Sareth. This scary video captured something creepy playing peekaboo around a corner. Sareth is outside this haunted home, his camera facing the front door, when his night vision footage captures this creepy creature peering around the doorway. What is this figure? It certainly looks human in size, but is it a ghost? Or is it just a living human being so super creepy? I think these are questions we'll never get the answers to. Matt Petrez thinks this dark and empty hotel elevator looks strange, but he doesn't want to take the stairwell so he gets on anyway. It's a long and creepy ride in total darkness that does not end well. Matt knows he has made a mistake as soon as the door is shut, but it's too late to do anything other than stare at the numeric red panel as it counts down the floors. Then on the fifth floor this happens. Matt claims the elevator stopped moving and he was stuck for a long time. I guess he could have just covered the camera with his hand and made the story up, or maybe something bad really did happen on the fifth floor to cause this potentially paranormal elevator ride. There's a face in the wall. Can you see it? That's right, you can see a face. Look at that. 
The eyes are wide and black, and the face is a little more than a tiny frown. Then, after one minute and five seconds, I think I see a hand appear. They say it looks like the face of a girl, but the youngest daughter swears up and down that she had nothing to do with it. She wasn't there last she time. She never went. She never went, no. And when, just for fun, they ask the face on the wall if it is the spirit of someone young or old, they get a weird response. Um, I'll put a, a light if you're younger. <gasps> So is this really a spirit, or just an imprint left behind of a child who stuck their face against a dirty wall? There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9pm, the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f It doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. Alex Griffin runs a sports channel nowadays, but years ago he was briefly into conducting paranormal investigations at the most haunted places he could find. One such foray was the exploration of Borlay Church, a place where organs are said to play by themselves and chanting can be heard from inside. There's also the ghost of Katie Borham, a housemaid who was said to have lost her life under mysterious circumstances that could have involved unknowingly ingesting toxic chemicals. Katie is the ghost they are hunting tonight, and so Alex Griffin and his friends logically start exploring the old haunted cemetery for paranormal evidence. They make the mistake of disrespecting her name along the way and start hearing some scary noises soon after. What the, f what the, f the amateur investigators run away at first, but soon agree that they can't leave the mystery unsolved and need to find more paranormal evidence. They return to the cemetery, and the bravest of them steps forward to taunt Katie into showing herself. See? So I didn't see anything but he senses a ghost and I tend to believe him. After all, he was the one trying to impress his friends the hardest, so I don't think he'd run away like that and risk embarrassing himself unless he was really scared. The paranormal investigators step forward as one, and a single light glows in the woods even when their camera is not shining on it. It's not exactly the best paranormal evidence ever recorded, but the timing is definitely odd and makes you wonder what this light could be. And with their backs turned, the noise returns. It sounds like one of them would have thrown a rock or something and hits the top of the tin roof, but then again, this is exactly the kind of paranormal activity that this place is known for. It's years later and not one of them stepped forward to take credit for throwing a rock and scaring the group, so maybe this supposed paranormal activity is real after all. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3am could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost moved the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and we'll be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. An urbex YouTuber called RNK All Day is exploring a creepy building that used to be a funeral home before it was abandoned. The funeral home is not haunted per se, at least not from what I can tell, but what they find is every bit as scary as any ghost video you'll ever watch. You see, a long time ago this North Carolina establishment was shut down because of improper business operations. 
People were not notified about their loved ones in a timely fashion, and the remains were often not stored properly at all. As RNK all day explores the abandoned building, he finds evidence of their misdeeds laying out in the open. Sitting in a battered cupboard box on an old altar is a discarded plastic bag full of what appears to be ashes. There's no way to tell if these are the ashes of someone until you look at the box that definitely says cremation services. If this is what we think it is, which I think it almost definitely is, then they should be properly placed in an urn, not out in the open like this. And if there are more items like this lying around, then maybe this building is haunted after all. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Adams is trying to sneak into the Chatham Hospital through the basement. This hospital is supposedly well guarded with high tech security systems and even dogs. I'm not sure what he expects to find inside, but it's probably not these bright yellow chunks of rotting insulation. Hopefully this is normal and not asbestos, a type of building material often used in old hospitals that is known to cause very bad health effects. <coughs> After about five minutes of navigating through dark tunnels and dead ends, he pops open a ceiling panel and drops down inside the main building. The hospital's dirty white rooms are mostly empty. At one point, he does come across this mysterious message written backwards in jagged red letters, but I can't make out what it says. Let me know if you can. Less than two minutes later, he finds himself running down the hospital hallways as fast as he can. Alarm, people! Alarm! F***ing alarm! Exploring with Adams double times it through the basement tunnel system and scrambles above ground. He gets away for now, but hopefully no street cameras tracked his escape. Jake Wardell is a motocross YouTuber with a moderate following and is a bit of a local celebrity. He is out dirt biking with a friend and it isn't long before someone recognizes them. They have a brief chat and it isn't clear if he is a fan or is angry about their dirt biking. Either way, they decide to take off, but they don't make it far before another person blocks off their path and begins approaching them. This other man begins talking down to them and takes an aggressive stance. I think Jake must have known he'd follow them if they tried to take off, so he decides to defuse the situation instead. Luckily, this situation does doesn't end badly due to Jake taking the high road, but who knows how bad things could have gotten with the unpredictability of these men, especially since that one man was willing to completely stop them from getting past. History comes to life at this old stone church, and so do the spirits. Raudak's paranormal investigation calls this one of the best records of paranormal activity in a century-old stone church in the north-central part of the state of Rio de Janeiro. Soon enough, they come to the old stone church, but before they even arrive at the stone church, they spot something in the darkness. Their cameras don't capture what it is they're seeing. Soon enough, they come to the old stone church. Its creepy facade is enough to send you on your way. Inside, they find overgrowth, vines dangling, some seemingly suspended mid-air. Later, they stand before a small crucifix in a stone room. They speak to the spirits through a spirit box here. <laughs> One says that she's listening to them and that she is suffering, but the creepiest part is yet to come. As the cameraman stands far off, he captures a shadow figure shifting past the crew in the crucifix room. Is this the spirit they were speaking to, or do they have multiple entities surrounding them? Baba Singh is riding at night when he sees a fluttering figure in white robes at the side of the road. Tell me what he says here at 55 seconds upon contact. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. It looks like it could be a ghost with its back turned to him and possibly floating in midair, perhaps at the very same spot where its life concluded, but I'm not sure. 
Let me know if you think this video from India is a real ghost sighting or just an encounter with a person dressed in all white. Oh, oh my God, this is so gross. I'm trying to look it up everywhere and I really can't like identify it because it looks so weird and different. A YouTuber named Supa Tanks has a creepy unwelcomed guest in her aquarium and needs our help figuring out what it is. Someone commented that this looks like a highly toxic centipede that fell in, but Supa Tank thinks that this might be an aquatic-based life form responsible for eating her shrimp. I agree with the giant insect theory because of its many legs and cylinder-shaped body, but maybe it's an exotic parasite or something even worse. Let's help solve this mystery and put her mind at ease with a correct answer. YouTuber named Jason L is rock climbing with his friend Kevin when they come across a narrow and claustrophobic crevice. Not wanting to get left behind, Jason follows Kevin's lead, but his resolve weakens considerably about midway through. I'm kinda wishing we didn't come in here, Kevin. Why? I'm pretty terrified. Barely 10 seconds later, Jason takes the worst step of his life. Oh no. Here, give me the camera. My foot's stuck. My foot's stuck. I'm so serious, I can't move. After some initial panic, he steps out of his shoe and manages to dislodge it. After some effort with both hands, look again and you can see what would have happened if Jason L had tripped and fallen forward instead of stepping out of his shoe. It's a sharp drop down a series of spiky rocks that could have easily resulted in shattered bones and an emergency airlift. School is the last place most people want to be in general, but in a crisis, there's an added layer of angst. Published by the Anchorage School District in December of 2018, a classroom security camera captured the scary magnitude 7.1 quake as it hit Anchorage, Alaska on November 30th of that same year at about 8.30 in the morning. The video shows the room and its objects start to tremble as the camera begins to shake. Coached for such an event, the student know what to do as they jump under their desks without any prompting from the teacher, who ducks under a desk as well. The projector shakes the most aggressively, while objects are seen falling from the desks and walls. The power goes out for a moment and you can hear the teacher trying to keep the students calm. After the initial quaking comes to an end, the teacher tells the kids to remain under the desks. Everybody okay? After a while, the fire alarm goes off and the students retreat from the classroom. More than 80 aftershocks followed throughout the day, with three reaching magnitudes of 5.0 or greater. One of them occurred just six minutes after this original quake. Way to keep calm and carry on. Zach from The Adventures of Zach and B is sure that a wild animal is in his attic. It's dark up there, so he takes the camera with him for light. The noise coming from his attic is unlike anything I've ever heard before. It sounds like a baleful combination of scratching, growling, and howling. Zack doesn't bother going any deeper and I really can't blame him. Unfortunately for him, it sounds like something follows him on the way out. Well, I don't see anything, so let's, uh, let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. An unseen voice says don't, and I think it also says get out of here too. Obviously, this is a real human voice and not an animal after all, and whoever was making that noise remains a mystery. A live streamer named Spetsnaz Boss suspects his house could be haunted. After catching this moment on his channel, he is fully engrossed in the game when the clothing on his door lifts up for no reason at all. This looks not good. Please, I don't want to go. Please. 
The sleeve of his jacket raises in the air, as if to say hi to all of his fans watching. There could be a chance this is staged, especially considering he is coincidentally playing a scary horror game. But maybe his fear is precisely what attracted it. A YouTuber named Will Rubio explores the inside of an old Utah jail with some friends to see what's left behind. Everybody is in high spirits and one of them laughingly gets inside of the cell to recreate what it must have been like to be locked up. All of them are debating whether or not this is a working lock on the door when they find out the answer by accident. Is, that, is there any lock on it? You think? No, I think it's a magnet. Holy <laughs> You're joking. I'm not kidding. As they fumble around the darkened area trying to find the controls, he struggles to get out and soon discovers the doors are as strong as ever. Oh, oh. Finally, just as true panic creeps in, they manage to unlock the cell and set their friend free. Otherwise, they would have probably had to call emergency services and would have gotten in serious trouble. Here's another strange surveillance tape out of Singapore, this time at an apartment building in Tempanese. Most of the orb videos I've seen in the past could be explained away as a piece of dust, but this is clearly something way different. At first, I thought that this was someone playing with a high-powered flashlight, but then I realized two things. You can usually see a ray of light leading back to a person holding the flashlight, but there's no such thing here. Secondly. The orb appears to briefly switch to a grey colour when it hits the wall. Watch this part of the video to see the colours change. That's not something an ordinary flashlight would do. If anyone can explain these two things to me, then I'll agree that it's fake. Will fish soon walk on land? It looks like one's already there. Published to the oddly terrifying subreddit, Redditor Big Black Onyx writes the cryptic message, They are evolving. The mysterious video shows a large fish on a slab of snowy ice jutting into the water. The oddly terrifying fish appears to be standing up on its fins, taking in great gulps of air. Many have reacted to the walking fish, which has become the subject of numerous memes, originally appearing in iFunny. Posted by user Psyka Gamberger in December of 2019, the video has been viewed, liked, and tweeted millions of times, and that's perhaps due to its unnerving nature. Redditor Sci-Fi Ship Controller remarks, Not sure what is more unsettling, that it stands, or that it brew. To give a virtual tour of his home, this YouTuber discovers something unsettling. His home is haunted. Let's take a look. Notice that the table and chairs are all set. Everything appears normal. He passes them again on the tour. Again, normal. After touring the rest of the house, he returns to the dining room. This is where things get spooky. I don't know about you, but that creepy ending definitely left me feeling very unsettled. Jake Duffner is a YouTuber who took a 3AM challenge that left him with a bizarre and unsettling problem he's not sure how to solve. One morning, his girlfriend Ashley woke up covered in random scratches, so Jake set up a camera over their bed and records the following night. This is what comes to visit them early in the morning. An unidentified man stands over the two of them as they sleep, although the stranger doesn't seem to cause them any harm. Jake is sure that this is the person who scratched Ashley the night before. Obviously, this video could have been staged, and the person dressed in all black could just be a friend of Jake's. However, you can still see the shape of the person's nose through their mask. Some of Jake's fans say that this person's nose doesn't look like it could belong to any of the channel's regulars. 
If this is true, then maybe this stalker really was a stranger after all. I will say that this video looks like it was shot during the daytime, which is a strong indication that it could be fake, or at least probably not a true 3am challenge. Either way, stalkers are somewhat common, and Jake does happen to be a popular YouTuber so it would make sense for him to have an unwanted admirer. Let me know if you think someone is living in jail. Siblings sing happy birthday to the camera for someone who lives far away. When they finish, one of them says something at 19 seconds that sounds like she might say mama. I don't know what she said, but mentioning her mother drops the mirror straight to the floor. And look, a pale apparition caught on camera in the reflection of the mirror before it happens. This video is probably edited, but if not, it looks like a paranormal entity has a problem with this family, or at least the mom. Australian YouTuber Sam Marsh is exploring far north Queensland when something odd crawls out of the forest to better observe him. Down the dirt road stands a tall creature roughly the same height as Sam. 53 seconds is when you can see a prominent head jutting forth as the creature inches back into the forest from whence it came. Sam walks to where it was and finds a well-worn path leading deeper into the dark forest. Looking back at him is the carefully concealed figure with a long neck and a white head. At 1 minute and 48 seconds, it turns back to look at him. What is it? What's this strange light doing here? That's what Michael Oishi wants to know, and so far no one has been able to help him. I personally think this looks like a high-powered spotlight, because I see a smaller light artifact that seems to generally correspond with its movements, indicating that this is actually part of a beam coming from the bottom of the screen. With that said, I wonder what's off-camera casting this long, creepy shadow. This submission comes from my new subreddit, where you can post whatever bizarre things you come across in your everyday life. It's reddit.com slash r slash chills narrator if you want to check it out. Lost Cosmonaut 01 says that he has been dealing with paranormal stuff ever since he was a child. Apparently, spirits have always taken an interest in him. Anyway, he lives alone, and one night, he managed to take a picture of this possible ghost sighting in his basement. What interests me is that this streak of light highly resembles whatever was shown in number 4. If anyone has an explanation besides the paranormal as to how this could have been caused, then please let me know, and be sure to keep your submissions coming. While searching an abandoned house, this paranormal crew felt a heavy and sinister energy. That energy manifested itself in several ways. Watch what's lurking in this doorway. The energy intensifies. And the images the team has captured serve as evidence of the heaviness that they found here. I don't think I would have the guts to enter, and after seeing this video, I definitely have to pass. YouTuber Hype Mike heard unexplained sounds in this haunted mansion during a night he'll never forget. His cruise adventure gets off to a really rocky start. What the f is that? What, what was that? What? Do you see that? What, what, what the f is that? What? Dude, I don't know what the f is. Did you hit something? Michelle, did you hit something? I don't know. I, I think hit so. something. Get, okay, okay, let's, everyone out. Let's go. Let's go. They discover he did hit something, but they have no idea where it went. What is that? Oh, wait, what? what? Look, look. Wait. Dude, I... That's oh, so my f What the heck is that? Did you see it? 
there was something. It was like uh, I, I couldn't get a good look at it. I just saw like a black shadow that just went right across. They find that whatever it was left a trail, though. Dude, this is like a lot, a lot of though. Well, keep keep following it. Well, Wait. obviously, friends of the witch. Look at this. Oh, yeah, on the leaf. <gasps> then they hear the sound. Is somebody there? Hello. There's like a few. Oh, oh my. I don't like this. Yo, oh I'm going in the car. Yeah, let's let's go into the car right now, okay? This next video, made to raise awareness, is supposed to replicate voices in your head. Among the many visual and audio delusions is one in particular that really gets to me, a girl with no eyes who appears at random. The girl with no eyes is apparently very common and reported by many. The following scene is an example of how she usually comes to them, or rather for them. She is scared. Ben! Ben! Nowhere is safe from the girl with no eyes because once she is in your mind, there's nowhere to hide. This is what it's supposed to be like when she finds you. No one knows why so many people have reported seeing the exact same figure. Maybe it's a subconscious manifestation of a common fear we all have. Or maybe it's some type of possession that's driving people to madness. If this video is just a simulation, then I can only imagine how terrifying the real thing must be face to face. What did you say? Can you say that again? Right into the side of my thing? I heard you. A TikToker named Deadbeat TV is investigating a haunted farmhouse for traces of the paranormal when he gets an answer to his question in the form of a passing shadow. What did you say? Can you say that again? He is standing completely still, and yet something moves fast across the floor. The shadow is perfectly contained within this room and does not touch either side of the doorway at all. It doesn't come from behind. Something ran across this room, a low moving shadow with no body attached, and shortly after, this second ghostly shadow reaches out. This seems like something paranormal to me. As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, You Are Okay, the Redditor explains, So I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think it's younger me being scared? The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. Eeny meeny miny mo, you don't want this cryptic hand catching you by the toe. Published in October of 2019 by YouTuber Paranormal News, this video has taken Spanish social networks by storm. The clip at first appears sweet. A toddler is hiding on a shelf inside a burrow as her father coaxes her out of there. Watch as a Tales from the Crypt nightmare hand extends out, perhaps luring her further into the darkness. Did a chill just run down your spine? Someone get that baby out of there. This is insanely scary. Is this unidentified flying object real or fake? YouTuber YB Normal shares this video of a daytime sighting in an unknown location. This man spotted the unidentified flying object on the tree line and got his camera out to capture it. It disappears for a while behind some trees before making a resurgence. I mean, just look at those movements. This, I mean, it just doesn't look like a conventional craft to me. This is crazy. It wobbles from one side to the other. A closer slow motion view captures this movement more precisely. Nothing wrong. Nothing 
A couple of things gives this away a CGI for me. The absolutely motionless steady cam. When at the beginning the cameraman sounds out of breath from having rushed out to retrieve his camera, so he would assumingly be holding it by hand. And a second issue is the sound of a breeze while the trees are completely stationary. This, uh, I don't know what it is. I thought it was a plane at first, or maybe a helicopter. I've been watching this thing hover around. Still, a good effort overall. What do you think is going on here? Gary restaurant video was captured in a bar in Singapore late at night. First, a stool falls over, which I guess could just be a string, but their reaction seems realistic as they all question how this could happen. The entire time, none of them realize that they are being watched by the faint outline of a woman who does not move or make a noise. Maybe it's just me, but it almost looks like this woman's feet are off the ground and she is suspended in the air. Number published by Scott Walters in February of 2015. This video again shows that drones over common land or private property are an annoyance to most and a threat to others. Walters explains the precursor to the man's anger in his description. Guy started yelling at me, asked if I had a permit to fly at a kid's park. I asked if he was joking. He said he wasn't, so I told him I needed to land. This is where the video started. After asking again if the operator has a permit to be on a children's playground, the man pushes the drone out of his face. He and the operator exchange words, with the operator telling the man to mind his own business. Don't touch my stuff. Do you have a permit to be on a children's playground? You don't need one. Get out of my face. You're the one who got in my face, dude. You're in front of my we we just walked over here. I understand. I don't mind your own business. Don't come questioning anybody about their stuff and the man stating that they're on public property. The argument quickly escalates as anger takes hold. Even as the man turns to leave with his child, the operator continues to shout at him. Those on the aggressive man's side, like Demo Man said rightly that the drone operator could be liable if his aircraft fell down or flew into a child's head, and others noted that the man was leaving while the drone operator continued to yell and provoke. Those on the operator's side, like Eric Mendez, said that no one is entitled to privacy in the public domain, while others noted that drone operators are often attacked for something that's just a hobby. Whose side are you on? And we are hurrying. Luckily, our house has sprinklers. When it was built, we've only been in this house for a week and a half. We're getting everything that's important and we're getting out of here. This scary GoPro video sounds like the final moments of a family fleeting in terror from their haunted home, but that's not what's happening. Midnight is when Tyson and Haley get a phone call that they have to evacuate fast, not from something paranormal, but a situation just as terrifying nonetheless. Flames are tearing up the mountainside and heading towards their home. Now they have to keep their oldest son occupied and unafraid while not panicking themselves, trying their best to navigate around closed roads and other hazards. You can tell the father wants to scream, but he doesn't want to freak their kids out. So this is how he talks. That's not good at all, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to go up there. What will happen if the fire comes to our car? We would turn around and drive away. He's definitely a good father for not scaring his children, but the reality of the situation is, at least from what I can tell, that they are low on gas and stuck in traffic without much control over where they go next. Police are frantically trying to direct traffic and stay in communication with the fire department to guide cars away from the blazing inferno, and it isn't looking too good for them. Eventually, they break away and find a moment to collect themselves at the gas pump. As they watch the inferno in the distance, adrenaline finally wearing off, it occurs to them just how close to being goners they really were. I've never had that feeling or adrenaline rush before. That was crazy. I'm really glad this wasn't the family's final moments caught on GoPro and hope they have some good memories ahead to help balance out this horrifying event. This one is out of sight. 
Published by Grid Synergy in November of 2017, this scary security footage was filmed in a computer lab at night. A man is working across two computers when an alarm sounds, jarring him to turn around. Clearly confused about what this alarm is for, the man gets up to look. After the alarm doesn't repeat, the man sits back down at his desk, satisfied that it must be nothing, but then a loud bang is heard. And after a moment off screen, a lot more racket is heard, followed by the man clearly fleeing in fear. He couldn't get out of there fast enough. What drove him to flee? With the man now gone, a strange creak is heard, followed by another loud bang. If only we could see what was happening off screen. Be careful what you wish for. This video allows a 360 view of what's going on. Head back to when the bang is heard. A light turns on in a room next to a foosball table. When the man heads off screen, he is heading over to check out this room. He looks in but sees nothing, though he picks something up off the floor. Perhaps this is what caused the noise. When he heads out again, he switches off the light. That's when the racket happens. The door slams and a chair shoots back from a desk in front of him. The man flees the scene, the light turns on in the room again, and this figure's reflection is seen in the window. As I said, be careful what you wish for, because now you can't unsee it. It is said that evil resides here. This paranormal explorer is about to greet it. Ricky Velasquez seems to sense this reputed evil early on. He then senses this hiding under a bench. While outside the structure, he hears a hushed whining or whimpering. Shortly after, he hears what sounds like a bottle being kicked. Back inside, he senses something in his presence again, and then on an upper floor, this unexplained sound. Is evil still lingering? Ricky isn't the only one who can feel it. Judging from his relatively harmless looking appearance, you'd never be able to tell that this man is as heartless and cruel as one can be. This three hour police confession in Anaheim, California eventually culminates in his admission of taking the lives of six homeless men with a blade in less than a month. What strikes me is his calm, almost timid demeanor. He speaks very evenly and you'd never expect that he was capable of generating the rage needed to plunge the blade into one person more than 60 times. Really what you were doing is you were helping clean up the town, clean up the area. In a way, sir, yes. What's even more repulsive is his sense of obligation and pride while looking back at what he's done. He thinks he was doing the city a service by dispatching the unwanted. It's obvious that he does not value human life and only judges people based on how they look, with absolutely no sympathy for their potential or what they've been through. Do you think that what you've done is right or wrong? Wrong, but it had to be done. They were making the place look bad also. Okay. He is still awaiting trial and sentencing. Let me know what you think his sentence should be based on the evidence presented before you. I think he would most likely do it again and should probably be kept away from the public.
A bottle of cleaning solution is far from scary until it moves across the counter on its own. The clerk has his back turned so it's not him. It never moves when he's looking. He can sense something strange but when he turns around the object stops. He probably has the bottle out because he wiped the counter down. If the surface is still wet, then that could be why the object is sliding towards him. But if that were the reason then, why would it stop moving every time he turns around? That part seems more like a ghost is messing with him. So is our freaked out friend in India really working front desk at a haunted office building? Based on the weird things caught on CCTV, I really think the evidence presents a strong case for the paranormal. A YouTuber named Shannon Griffin recorded this short scene as part of an amateur film he was working on. One of his friends, Rachel, goes into the alley and the scene ends. It seems simple enough, but look at the bottom left for a weird surprise. The swaying shadow is not supposed to be part of the shot. Later, when Shannon was editing the footage, he was terrified by the strange discovery because nobody was standing off camera there. It's not a tree in the wind because these plants in the foreground don't move at all, while this shadow figure sways wildly. The only explanation I have, assuming that they are telling the truth to begin with, is maybe some nosy neighbor was watching them from a window and casts their shadow on the sidewalk below. But the way the shadow moves is so odd that I don't think this is it at all, so maybe it was paranormal. On April 5th of 2016, this mysterious UFO was seen hovering around the International Space Station at 7.23 in the morning during a NASA live stream. I'll have to close out and open it back up again. A flat disk slowly rises on the blue horizon in the distance. It grows larger and larger and then appears to briefly invert itself while continuing to the surface. I have no idea what this thing could be, so please give me your best guess. As far as I know, NASA has yet to give an official explanation. Dominic Marquez of Albuquerque, New Mexico says you're definitely going to believe his ghost sighting caught on CCTV video is real when you see it. Somebody is walking down the street when all of the sudden, they're simply not not. Ghost. That's real, dog. The person morphs into a floating orb and briefly becomes human again before going back into its second form. And to top off an already bizarre video, this creepy thing happens next. Bro, I'm saying there's nobody there. <laughs> the neighbor's rather bright motion detector lights turn on when the ghost walks by. Nothing's there. If it was a CCTV glitch on Dominic's camera, then why would motion lights go on across the street? It looks like he was right about me believing this paranormal video is real. In the Dominican Republic in April 2013, uploader DR Local encountered a mysterious sea creature. During a scooter-powered night scuba dive, the time was 9.15 p.m., while the depth was 20 meters. The creature was reportedly bony, three-quarters of a foot long, with a small head and sharp teeth. It also had translucent fins and a purple and steel sheen-colored body. The mysterious creature swam both backwards and forwards. The dorsal fin helped it maneuver both directions and propelled it at higher speeds moving forwards which made it appear more eel-like rather than blade-shaped. According to the uploader, what could this eel-like creature be? YouTube commenters, of course, are full of suggestions. Doom Octopus said it looked like a young ore fish, while Zane Reavers said it was a cutlass fish. Both of these seem plausible, but Sampal's suggestion seems to be on the nose. It's a hair tail, very common around Sydney, Australia, usually fished at night by a very dedicated fisherman, very sharp teeth, and not too bad to eat. Whatever the thing is, I wouldn't want to run into it in the depths of the sea at night. A YouTuber named David Rebordeo hears noises coming from an attic and decides to go up and investigate for himself. Here you can see they are both far away from the source of the noise and they're not pretending to hear something. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
David videos the upstairs for a while and doesn't come across much. He passes the camera and starts to climb down the ladder. All of the sudden, the equipment makes a buzzing sound not found in any other part of the video. That's when the noisemaker reveals itself and nearly makes physical contact. <laughs> It's hard to say if this was a person or some sort of ghostly ghoul. The buzzing noise makes me think that this was a paranormal disturbance, but I guess this could have been CGI, so let me know what you think it was. A woman is practicing a presentation while her friend films, but they both become distracted by the poltergeist in the room. TikToker Real Scary Video shares this footage. One, three, go. One, okay, now. now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verify the clients. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure. First, the light flickers. Verify the client's identity and provide. Ano ito? Sige pa na yung pesina, sina, sina, sina. Then something disturbs the closet. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Well, we can't see what made the noise. I'm pretty sure whatever it was lost its patience. Talk about a non-supportive ghost. Ano ito? Sige pa na yung pesina, sige na, sige na, sige na. O tara, tara, tara. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient... Uh, now that I have introduced myself to the patient... <laughs> two friends are riding down the Karela Highway in India. When they see what they later agree has to have been a ghost of some kind. The figure is dressed in pure white and holding something, maybe a flashlight. Creepiest of all is how they seem to be deeply staring into the darkness at something. They are in such a deep state of concentration that they don't even look up when the car zooms by just a few feet away. They remain frozen in place and seem to be holding their face in surprise. If this is a ghost, then they could have been looking at the roadside remains of their own body. A photographer pulls his car over just outside of the Dara War Fort in the Pakistani desert. He keeps his dash cam running as he adjusts his camera equipment to get a better shot. While he is busy snapping pictures, a mysterious shadowy figure hurries down the road. No other cars or people are around for miles. And there's no reason for someone to be walking this great distance by themselves. They get towards the end of the road and quietly disappear, which leaves only two possible explanations. Either this was a real highway ghost encounter or just video editing. One day, a student named Ella got her entire hand stuck in a paper towel dispenser. I'm not sure how she did this and neither do her classmates. All I know is she seems majorly stuck and nobody can free her hand for the entire video. Pulling her arm doesn't help and seems to only make things worse. My question, besides how did this happen, is what can be done to get her out? I'm thinking an ambulance probably had to be called to dismantle the dispenser, or at least take it off the wall, but we'll never know for sure because the video is only a minute and 16 seconds long. When you enter a graveyard, you may not leave alone. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scream Gaming writes, This was caught in a cemetery when we were leaving. All four of us got chills at the time, and it felt like something left with us. In the short clip, the group is heading out of the driveway of the cemetery when you see a figure on the side of the road. According to the Redditor, they caught this creepy thing on video where in reality there was nothing, just grass and a telephone pole. Do you see it? Redditor Treadway 0311 does writing. There definitely was something there and then gone. But what was it? And where did it go? A team of paranormal experts head to the abandoned county jail in Gonzales, Texas to prove it is really haunted. After exploring for a while, all of them agree that they are feeling an intense anger for no real reason. Finally, one of them decides to confront whatever is responsible for causing their heightened emotional state. We've been feeling a lot of anger, and I want to know why. 
the question is met with even greater anger in return. You're right. <laughs> According to them, an invisible hand slides around his throat and tightly squeezes. The retching noises he makes afterwards seems very real. <laughs> He runs out of the building and his eyes appear red and watery immediately afterwards. I feel the pressure right now on my neck. Look at your- man, you gotta see your eyes. I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see your eyes, man. Look at your eyes. Unless he is somehow able to give himself fully red eyes on command, all of this evidence makes me believe that this ghost incident could have been real. A YouTuber named King Fresh is hanging out with his crew at a wild and crazy underground car rally. Burnouts and donuts fill the parking lot for a long time until it gets late and most of the drivers go home. Those who remain have more space to do even crazier maneuvers than ever before. Still, none of them could have been prepared for what this sports car does next. Oh, we got a Mustang right here in the wild. What do you guys think? You like it or no? A Mustang charges straight towards a small group for no real reason other than to show off. I think they might lose control though, because at 8 minutes and 5 seconds you can see it was about to plow straight into King Fresh. The headlights are pointed straight at him and he barely steps out of the way. Raider subreddit. This redditor writes, I've been getting haunted for a while now, and now it's messing with childhood pictures of me. In the clip, the kid says his door won't stop opening, and in that moment it's flung open. Shortly after, a series of pictures falls slightly from the wall and starts to swing. Is this a demon as the Redditor suggests? Another Redditor in the comments thinks it may be a ghost or a spirit, but likely not a demon. He offers advice writing, Ask it how you can help. Maybe research your house to see what may have happened there. Other Redditors like iPro the Floor thinks this video looks legit. I'm genuinely scared for you, he writes. I think we all are. Nathan, Tube Your Life lives in a remote mountain location and has never revealed his home address. This still doesn't stop someone from apparently figuring out where he lives and paying him a visit. Nathan wasn't home at the time, so they decide to leave a really creepy note for him to come back to. The person leaves their personal cell phone number with instructions to call. Just the fact that they were essentially tracking Nathan down makes this note come off as aggressive and weird. I think it would be really interesting if someone could analyze the handwriting and tell me more about this potential stalker's personality. Later, Nathan musters up the courage to make contact with his fan, and the conversation is about as eerie as you'd expect. I'm watching you right now. Bro, I've been watching you for like the past two weeks. I'm in the tree right beside your room. I'm waiting. Nathan looks around but ultimately he doesn't see anyone else. They probably were not nearby because they could have made a noise if they really wanted Nathan to see where they were. I think this probably is just one of his friends or else some random weirdo messing with his head. Then again, a short while later, he sees a black SUV speeding away that he has never seen before. So maybe someone really was watching his every move from a distance. Proving Demon's rights, on our paranormal investigation at a haunted hotel, we capture a real shadow person hat man on video. Are you wondering what a hat man is? Let Dana Matthews from the site Weak and Weird explain the phenomena. According to Matthews, shadow men came creeping out of the shadows in 2011 when paranormal radio personality Art Bell cast a light into the darkness on his radio show Coast to Coast AM, and the result was a burgeoning community of people coming forward, explaining their encounters with these phenomena. Out of this shadow people phenomena, another slightly different experience arose, encounters with the hat man. Much like shadow people, the hat man often appears at nighttime, wearing a wide-brimmed hat, hence the name. Those who encounter him have described him as a solid black mass, darker than a shadow without discernible facial features, and no describable lower body. Apart from a long flowing trench coat, the hat man is often seen floating and moves without sound, quite frequently in a basement setting. Another quality of this phenomena is that the hat man tends to appear in places of high negative energy and family dysfunction 
Mansion. This video shows either a hat man or shadow figure haunting this generally creepy house. The figure flies down a hallway, disappearing into a distant room as the ghost investigators search the house's interior. So what's going inside this house? Is it haunted? The hat man phenomena is often a recurring one for many people, from childhood to adulthood. Some believe shadow people are evil, like physical medium Amy Allen, who thinks they are interdimensional entities. Although the hat man and the shadow person might seem one and the same, they do indeed appear to be two separate entities. If you see a hat man, consider your family dynamics and the energy of your relationships. Does this video make you believe in hat men and shadow figures? If so, don't turn around. This worrisome video I'm about to show you was posted on March 18th of 2017 by a person who had been teetering on the edge of self-destruction for years. Things were much worse this time. Something, something seems to be after me. I, I don't know what else to say except goodbye. And you'll never guess what he does next, but first let me tell you what he has been through. His psychological torment would begin in early 2015, approximately two years before his final goodbye. That was when someone began knocking at his door, almost every night, for days. He lives all alone and is a very private person, so introverted in fact that we never learn his name. For him to have a visitor is not normal let alone in the middle of the night. The knocks were annoying at first, but he figured it would stop if he ignored it. But when that didn't work, he decided to start documenting everything early on, in case he needed to take it to the police or something later. He also decided to confront it and defend himself if need be. This incident, taken on February 12, 2015, starts with two knocks that are so soft, it would be easy to think you're imagining them. But after three weeks of harassment, he is frazzled and hears every noise, so he springs to action ready to meet force with force, but there's just one problem. Nothing is ever there to confront. Listen closely to this part, because I hear chatter after he locks up. He installs a second camera outside the very next night on February 13th, 2015. Friday the 13th to be exact. Sure enough, it starts again. He opens the door and no one's there. It's not two different videos put together either, because his movements in both videos sync perfectly, like at 1 minute and 15 seconds when he smooths his hair. Even if he practiced this routine, it still wouldn't be this dead on. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that this happens at 3am every night. Anyone would want to move and he absolutely did, but his money situation meant he couldn't either continue to endure this or go homeless in the middle of the winter. Eventually, he decides to go outside before 3 a.m. and see if he can catch whatever or whoever is doing this on video. He doesn't see them, but he does find footprints leading away from his house into the woods. The footprint is separated in two halves, more like a hoof print than a foot, yet two legs instead of four. Some people have said this could be a demon or even a cryptid. I don't know about all of that, but I know that he really did go out at 3 a.m. And I know this because I hear a train throughout the video. Oddly enough, this late night train is heard in all of his videos, and I think could be closely related. Something bad must have happened on the nearby tracks. By August 28th, whatever had left those footprints was looking for other ways inside both day and night. No longer was it confined to 3 a.m. Tell me if this is an animal or something way worse. I 
I didn't hear any claws tapping. This was the sound of somebody fast. A raccoon or a possum would be doing this at night time. This was something big in the middle of the day, like a restless spirit. So after years of experiencing this and other similar encounters, perhaps you'll better understand why. After saying goodbye in March of 2017, he simply decided to open up the door and stop. Goodbye. Whatever that was, it sounded far from being a person. Over two years later, this mysterious final video was uploaded on January 1st, 2019. Those sound like church bells. Maybe this is a clip taken from a funeral. Could it be his? And whoever typed these replies doesn't act like him at all. Ashley uses the reality ripple in her room and realizes one of her dolls is haunted. She is able to see a little ghost attached to the doll itself. In this still picture, you can see her blonde hair and also kind of see a scary face on the ghost girl as well. A haunting expression permanently locked in a screen. A Reddit user named Miss Doolittle Tex posted some really creepy things caught on camera for the Chills Narrator subreddit to analyze. A man with shifty eyes and an odd expression walks to her front door and doesn't ring it, just stands there confused. He thinks about doing who knows what next and then decides against it. He leaves her door but not her property, going on to walk around the perimeter and crossing into a neighbor's backyard without permission. He returns a short while later, running away and full of energy. Only he knows what he did for sure or how bad it was. Miss Doolittle Tex calls the police to make a report, and based on this video evidence, I think she was absolutely in the right to do so. There's no reason for him to be creeping around like that, and it's good to get everything documented early, in case things get even weirder in the future. Besides, I would want my neighbor to look out for me in the same way as I do for them. This trail camera captures some deer grazing when one of them pauses as if something is nearby. They look directly at the camera, and in that moment, a phantom pair of eyes move in the opposite direction. I was thinking that this could be a camera glitch that somehow reflects the deer's eyes back at an angle, but the eyes can be seen briefly again at the 12 second mark, and this time it looks like the deer notices and stares directly at them with more curiosity than fear. There are also plenty of other movements where the deer is looking at the camera without the phantom eyes present, so it might not be the equipment after all. Could this be an unknown flying creature like the uploader seems to think? Some cultures believe that the forest itself develops a living spirit to watch over the creatures within, so maybe that is what we are all witnessing here. There's nowhere to escape when you're on a haunted island. The Hype Mike crew soon realizes that not only can't they escape, but something is in the house with them. They discover the front door open. Like I feel like we would have closed that. No? At least the wooden door too, you know. Then they see something truly terrifying outside. What was that? The guys described the creature. There's something outside, dude. There's like a what? thing. What it had like talking? its face was all like. I couldn't. I could. Something was on his face. I don't know if it was like a mask or something, but yeah, something, something was on his face, face, and he had like a out. like a. Outside, they hear a call in the wilderness. I think I heard something up there. Yep, right there. Sir. And as they continue on, they get closer to it. Shh. Oh, what was that? 
Wow. We're definitely getting closer. And they get even closer. Oh my That's I thought it was another one of those skull things. I think we should try to like find its like base camp. Until they find its base camp. It's another one of those skulls. Oh Hello? Is this creature watching them? It seems to have left some sort of warning on the ground. What is that? Is that, is that a balloon? Stop, 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 stop. <coughs> what the f And amongst the brambles of the creature's base camp, they find this. Jesse? What? Is that a Let's look at this. We need to get out of here. Arriving at the water's edge, they see this. What, what the f is that? Bro, we gotta go. We gotta. I think he's right. They've got to go. Wouldn't you? I sure would. This one's a head scratcher. TikToker Elkakoi.tv shares this mysterious video that's a total nightmare. Watch around the side of the door. At first, it looks to me like a ghost peeking out sideways at the guy, but TikTokers are floating other theories as to what the heck that was. Bro, what was that? Well, I think Cap like Caleb could be right that it was this mirror. It's the reflection in the mirror that's throwing people off. That could be anything, but to me it looks like someone covering their abnormally large face with their hands. What do you think it is? This haunted mansion isn't a Disney theme park ride. It's the real deal. On the Chills Narrator subreddit, Be More Talk submitted this freaky video in July of 2019 writing. This video was made while it was 115 degrees out, and I say this because while we were filming, we noticed that someone was in the top floor of this 42-room mansion that was built in the 1800s. The Uplands Mansion appears to be rather decrepit and is buried in nature. Lots of trees around and ivy growing up the mansion walls. Perfect scene for a ghost sighting. The video navigates the overgrown shrubbery surrounding the exterior of the mansion, some of which is covered with graffiti. At one point, as the YouTuber notes, there appears to be someone in the upper window. The YouTuber says someone keeps poking their head in and out of the window, but the visual is not clear. Whatever it is, it's enough to keep them out of that mansion, at least for now. A YouTuber named Lothvan hears a knock at 4.30 in the morning. This has been going on for quite a while, and he's finally had enough, so he grabs his camera and heads out. He films the outside scenery for a bit and catches nothing but crickets chirping under a night sky, or so he thinks. He looks at the video later and notices a small white face peering back at him from the shadows. Lothvan is now convinced that this is proof of how Slenderman stalks him and haunts his dreams at night. I'm curious as to whether or not you think someone was really there, or if this all sounds made up. While out kayaking on Yale Lake, this man soon realizes he isn't alone. Published by Crypto D Nut in June of 2017, the kayaker captures bubbles surfacing from the bottom of the lake, and not just a couple, like enough where the lake looks like a hot tub with the jets on. The kayaker films the strange bubble patch and remarks that there's no current. Just bubbles coming from the bottom of the lake. No current. 
Then he puts his camera underwater. You can see the bubbles floating up, but you can't see the source. Back out of the water, something enormous erupts in the lake. A huge bubble breaks, right where the YouTuber's friend was kayaking a moment before. What the f What the f What the f is happening? Leaves in mud have surfaced, and the guys say it stinks. What is this? Is there a lake monster in these waters? Commenter Stevenopoulos likely has the explanation. He writes in the comments that this is concentrated gas that is sometimes produced in anaerobic environments and can suffocate you when released. Others add it was likely a methane pocket burst built up by plant matter decomposing at the bottom of the lake. Opolis warns if you ever see that, get as far away as possible. Well, not a lake monster. The reality is still very frightening. You expect to come across witches at night, but in the broad light of day, somehow that's even scarier. Published in July of 2019, this video purports to show a witch spotted in Mexican ruins. A man is shown exploring the ruins. Little does he know, over his left shoulder, at a short distance glides the shadow of a witch. At first, the men are oblivious, but as they turn around and walk back towards the entrance, the figure appears again, this time not lurking in the shadows, but rather in the light of day. The men are aware of its presence this time, and as they start to exclaim, the witch takes flight, up, up, and away, hopefully as far away as humanly possible. The video is certainly blurry, which makes determining what this figure actually is quite difficult. A father and son are bonding outdoors when they make a discovery in a puddle. That's so bizarre they have to bring it home and make a video of what they've caught on camera. So I kind of looked at the little creatures that were in there and at my first glance they're round and have a tail just like a tadpole. The mysterious creatures have a long tail and two eyes that are especially visible. At 1 minute and 22 seconds, baby horse shoe crabs were my guess, but when I googled a picture it looked different. So what do you think they are? Luisito Camunaica enters a graveyard in Argentina meant for millionaires to see what the afterlife is like for the rich. After he is taking a personal tour in a cemetery that's supposed to be empty, he twice fails to see what many later insist was a shadow person lurking nearby. This possible ghost sighting over his shoulder is giving a lot of people the creeps. I think it was weird at first, but now I think it could have just been another person taking a tour. This encounter at 9 minutes and 55 seconds is what has many people convinced that this is a ghost, but I think I have a different explanation. The first person is wearing all black and does look creepy, but if you look closely you can see a second person is walking with him, and therefore this is almost definitely just a couple taking an afternoon stroll and nothing more. This isn't paranormal in my opinion, but with almost 8 million views and new comments coming in all the time, I just wanted to analyze this video and put the rumors of this video to rest. Still, you should always watch out for strange people while on vacation, especially in a cemetery. This clip reveals an underground entrance in Saudi Arabia. It was originally posted to YouTube by Bismax TV in August of 2019. According to the video description, the underground is claimed to be haunted. It certainly sounds like it. <laughs> Terrifying screams are heard coming from the depths of what looks like a bunker, or maybe even a well. There's a ladder leading down into a hole deep within the earth. The sacred text is being read, while screeching continues in the background. <laughs> As the tormented screams continue, so does the sacred text reading. But what we don't know is why, and what is going on in this underground bunker. Some in the comments say this is one of the scariest things they've ever heard. Others say it's definitely not fake and the latter perhaps leads to a secret torment chamber. YouTuber Psychic Afro Dancer offers up two interesting theories. One suggests that it's a red fox in heat. If you've ever heard audio from any animal in heat, you might consider this a valid theory. But the second theory is more appealing to those of us with paranormal leanings. It involves the belief in jinn. Jinn are spirits, demons, or supernatural creatures that appear in Islamic mythology and theology. Jinn are creatures, similar to humans, thus they are neither inherently evil or inherently good, and the word jinn is derived from the terms to conceal or to hide. You can see it's not a stretch that some suggest jinn means beings that are concealed from the senses. 
It's believed that jinn originated as animal shape-shifting malevolent spirits found in unclean places, deserts, and dingy dark desolate locations. Those who believe often try to protect themselves from jinn. Could this be jinn? Unredeemed? Tormented in a scary hole? All I know is I wouldn't be going down there to check. <laughs> A YouTuber named Joseph Chan Sloam has been experiencing paranormal happenings around his house for quite some time now. Most of the activity happens around his bedroom, though no part of the house seems off limits. After giving a brief tour of his house, Joseph turns out most of the lights and goes to bed with the camera running. He wants to catch the ghost in action. It isn't long before everything he was afraid of starts to happen. Joseph wakes up and grabs the camera. He races around the house trying to find an intruder, but comes up with nothing. Let me know if you think this is real. And if not, how he did this all by himself. Rocking chairs moving on soon. This YouTuber's house is so haunted. His possessions act possessed even when brought outside. Take this rocking chair for example, which he records moving on its own. Not really that windy. When he looks around at 1 minute and 20 seconds, you can see the flowers and trees are still. Nothing is blowing in the wind because there is no wind, yet he makes a request to move the chair again. The ghost tilts the chair forward one time to confirm that yes, it is in fact there and fully aware. Can you rock it some more? Got a visitor. The Art Man channel is full of various lighthearted adventures taken from all around the country, but there's one video from his stay in Carpinteria, California that's way different from the rest. Art is wading in the water when he sees the last thing any surfer wants to see, a pointy fin barely poking above the surface. Uh, what? What the f***? That's creepy. Art watches in stunned silence as a sizable great white shark swims by the nose of his boat less than 10 feet away. It's not full grown, but it's still large enough to make a meal out of one of his arms or legs if it so desires. Fortunately, the shark moves on without much hesitation, and Art makes a beeline to the shore. If this is a different kind of shark other than a great white, please let me know. That's what it says in the video's description and title, but I honestly can't tell for sure. A young boy is watching television by himself and starts making a video for fun. After a while, he needs to do something in another room so he puts the phone down for just a minute and accidentally records this creeper at his window. Someone peeks through the window multiple times over the course of a minute. I think those might be metal bars on the windows, so maybe this area has been dealing with break-ins, in which case there is about to be another. Then again, this strange floating orb appears as soon as the figure disappears, so maybe this is some kind of paranormal intruder instead. Working car parks aren't the most comfortable places in the light of day, so what happens when you enter an abandoned one in the darkness underground? Published to YouTube by Nellis in August of 2016, this video will make underground car parks seem even more terrifying. Nellis writes, This is the scariest haunted abandoned place we've ever visited. The car park was in connection to a haunted hotel his crew had visited in Bosnia. He says that this video is even scarier than his two-part series about the hotel. So let's see what's hiding down in this car park. The car park has clearly long been abandoned, overgrown grass at the entrance and rubble inside. As they descend into the pits of creepy, 
On one wall is a handprint, as though someone smeared something on the wall. It looks like something red. Nellis shines a flashlight into the dark and spots a bag. The crew hears something down in the car park, prompting Nellis to greet the darkness, asking if there's anyone down there to give them a sign. If there's anyone in here, give us a sign. A sound is heard, although it's not clear what it could be coming from. He continues to shine his flashlight all along the gap to the car park to see if anything is moving. They hear some more noises, repeated taps. Wait, did you hear that? Did you hear that? His friend speaks in Bosnian, likely again questioning whether or not anyone is there. On closer inspection of the underground, they spot a door and recently eaten food. They continue down to the bottom of the incline and throw stuff at the bag they'd seen earlier. While looking deeper into the car park, they don't open the bag, but Nellis says it appeared like someone was sleeping down here or otherwise staying here, as though they found food canisters and towels. As they again hear something in the darkness, they decide it's time to move it on out of there. Nellis says it sounds like something scraping the floor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I heard something, I heard something. I heard something coming. Whether human, animal, or something supernatural, leaving this place with only one way out was probably the best course of action. An urban exploration and paranormal investigation channel called SCPC Ghost makes a video about an abandoned house in Colton, California for no reason other than he thinks it looks interesting enough to record on camera. He videos the outside of the house from some different angles for a while and then decides it's time to explore the inside. The inside is well lit and yet there is a mysterious moving shadow that may or may not be paranormal. The shadow goes away and that's when he hears a soft, creepy noise. Hello? Anybody here? Nobody responds and so he decides to fully investigate the abandoned house for evidence of the paranormal. In the kitchen, he records what could be a small, pale ghost sighting in the window. In the back of the abandoned house, he finds what could be a secret room on the other side of this brick wall. There's an opening that's too small to climb through, but small enough to drop food into, like someone was held captive. It's crazy. It's worth it and the marks on this door shown at two minutes likewise look like someone tried to claw their way out. It's a small search, and he's about to leave when he realizes there's one final creepy dark room to explore for paranormal evidence. He does not get a single step inside before he finds out this abandoned house is not so abandoned after all. Oh, I'm sorry about that. A voice in the darkness scares him and he does not look inside to see who it belongs to. Had he checked, he might have found the room was empty and that the woman's voice was nothing more than an EVP caught on camera. Instead, he sidesteps into the other room and, in doing so, accidentally records a mysterious moving shadow figure on the way out. Just taking some pictures of the property. I'll be out here in a second, alright? Scared me. I don't know if this is a paranormal ghost encounter or a woman who is going through hard times and trying to hide. All I know is that a voice doesn't have to sound scary to be terrifying, at least not when it's coming from the darkest corners of this sad little abandoned home. <laughs> Let Randonautica take you to just any random place or you might live to regret it. This video is a prime example of why. Alright, going Randonautica. And it took us to this shady park in the middle of nowhere, so let's see what we find. I came across it on a Vietnamese YouTube channel. After doing some digging, I was able to track down the original source to the TikTok account, at Haley underscore AIG. Watch this next part closely.
Did you see it? Something just peeked out from behind that tree, but that's not all. After the group crosses the bridge, they see the nightmare girl plain as day. I think we have to go over this bridge and our location's a little down there. What the That would be enough to make me abandon this Randonautica mission, which the team actually considers doing. Oh, uh, what the f Uh, should we keep going? But they don't, and then this happens. What? Why is she following us? Although we can safely assume this is expertly composed fiction, that doesn't mean my soul didn't leave my body while watching the- Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.